Chapter 1701 Please beg in your show translator. Born to be boom. Long Chen once more slashed with his saber. The Empyrean winged blood devils let out unwilling roars as they were annihilated within the channel. The gate between the devil world and the martial heaven continent looked gigantic. But in terms of an area that could actually be passed through, there was only a 300 meter channel. This channel was where the laws of two worlds clashed. Within it, those Empyrean winged blood devils were only able to unleash a portion of their power. Long Chen had already found the trick to it. He no longer needed to use the sixth form of split the heavens now. The winged devils were slain wave by wave as he defended the exit. Although he didn't kill as many as he did with the sixth form of split the heavens, it saved him energy, and he simply attacked repeatedly. With him blocking the exit, they couldn't charge out, infuriating the Empyrean winged blood devils. Despicable human race, if you have gods, then let us through and have a real fight with us. If you want to fight with me, that's not a problem. I'll help you out. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder, looking disdainfully at the Empyrean winged blood devils. HMPH, you're the one who said that. The Empyrean winged blood devils were delighted and hastily charged through. As a result, before they could exit, Long Chen attacked again. You despicable liar. The saber image completely annihilated the Empyrean winged blood devils who had charged through. Idiot. I said I'd help you out, not that I wouldn't attack. When I said I would help you out, I mean I'd help you by killing you. You can't blame your poor comprehension skills on me. Long Chen shrugged innocently. Bastard. The Empyrean winged blood devils were infuriated, but with Long Chen blocking the exit and their combat powers suppressed within the channel, they couldn't get through. Guo Ran. Has Long Chen taken first place? Meng Chi saw that Guo Ran was still focusing on the Devil Slaughter rankings despite being kicked by Tang Wanur. Monstrous. Guo Ran could only sigh. He's first. Asked Gu Yang. No. I'm talking about Len Yuian. Her kill points have already surpassed 1 trillion. Furthermore, after breaking past 1 trillion, the number representing her kill points became violet gold and turned to 1. Her kill points are going to be measured in the trillions then what about boss? Boss? Let me check. Rank 37. How is that possible? Boss is handling all of them on his own. And he has killed so many. How can his ranking not be in the top 10? Didn't he take 7th place just before? Are the devil slaughter rankings wrong? Gu Yang couldn't believe his ears. It's impossible for the devil slaughter rankings to be wrong. That means the other regions have also started a bloody battle. It's normal that Long Chen has been surpassed, said Meng Chi. I still don't get it, said Gu Yang. Meng Chi explained, the Eastern Xuan region only has Long Chen killing the Empyrean winged blood devils right now, but he has made them too scared to come out. As for the other regions, they won't just foolishly defend the channel. They'll retreat to their sect's strongholds and then use divine items to slaughter them. Even the southern Xuan region can do this, as Long Chen only killed most of their junior generation, and their seniors are still alive and well. Although the elusive music Immortal Palace said that they would handle it, those sects will still be prepared. After all, this is a major affair, so those disciples in the other regions will mostly retreat as their sects don't want to see immense casualties amongst their disciples. Only the absolute top experts will remain. Without others to worry about, they can unleash their own ultimate moves or divine items to slaughter the Empyrean winged blood devils. So those top experts are surrounded by a sea of Empyrean winged blood devils. While Long Chen is blocking the channel on his own, not letting them come through, it's normal that he has been surpassed. Only now did everyone understand. The reason he had taken 7th place at the start was because he had struck early. Once the gate was stabilized. The other geniuses had also started attacking. Those geniuses had plenty of enemies to choose from. While Long Chen was blocking the channel, not letting the enemies through, the amount that he was killing was shrinking as they grew more cowed. Not good. Those bastards are up to something. Suddenly, they saw that some ancient Empyrean winged blood devils had appeared. They were forming some kind of formation. The long haired man that had spoken to Long Chen was enveloped in that formation along with thousands of the Empyrean winged blood devils. Suddenly, they vanished. They're using a secret art to directly pass through the gate, shouted Gu Yang. Space shook. 
Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and he slashed Evil Moon directly where the spatial fluctuations were concentrated. He wanted to annihilate them before they could pass through. In this instant, space was definitely in disorder. With this attack, Long Chen was confident in at least heavily injuring that long-haired man. He even had a chance of killing him instantly. However, just as his saber slashed down, his expression changed. The spatial fluctuations vanished. Spatial displacement Long Chen was startled and hastily swung his saber behind him. 3,000 meters away, space began to twist once more. The bodies of the long-haired man and the Empyrean winged blood devils had just appeared when Long Chen's sharp attack mercilessly arrived. The long-haired man was a bit surprised at Long Chen's reaction speed. He held a white bone spear, and it unleashed a ray of light. The powerful divine fluctuations showed that it was also a powerful divine weapon. With an explosive sound, the black saber image and white light collided. The powerful divine fluctuations struck the Empyrean winged blood devils hard, and the majority were killed. The ones who survived were half dead and wildly coughed up blood. Long Chen was stunned by the long haired man's power. That white spear had unleashed immense power, and now his arm was a bit numb. It seemed that the long-haired man also specialized in power. The long-haired man had thought that he would have been able to heavily injure Long Chen with his attack, as Long Chen had been forced to change targets midway, causing his power to drop. However, Long Chen's attack had been so powerful that the long-haired man had almost lost his grip on his spear. A blood rune appeared on his forehead and spread throughout his body. This was a secret art to raise his power. So you have some power. But no matter how strong a pig is, it can't change its fate of being slaughtered. The long-haired man suddenly spread his bat-like wings, and the blood-colored runes surrounding his body exploded, revealing countless divine runes on his wings. Divine light exploded from his wings, and his voice resounded throughout the air. The wings of the Empyrean winged blood devils are known as heavenly wings. We are born with the heavenly runes on them. When our wings appear, the heavenly deos follow. The land is beneath my feet. The great sea is in my heart. All manifestations of heaven and earth are mine pow. Just as the long-haired man's aura was constantly rising as his voice grew louder, a hand struck his face at a strange angle, interrupting him and sending him flying. His saber attacked right after, slashing at the long-haired man's waist. He had slapped him with his left hand and was using his right hand to slash with his saber. It was a seamless combination. Long Chen's divine face slapping art was unique to him and had no match in this world. Whether it was a human or devil, as long as it was their first time encountering it, it would be very difficult for them to dodge. An attack without any killing intent was difficult to sense. However, if this slap landed, then the killing blow would follow. Just as Evil Moon was about to strike, the runes on his wings lit up, and his body vanished. Long Chen's saber slashed through empty air. Die. The long-haired man suddenly appeared behind Long Chen, the white bone spear in his hand whistling toward him. Long Chen hastily blocked with his saber and was sent flying by the spear. The long-haired man let out a heaven-shaking roar. Clearly, this slap had infuriated him. Based on this, it seemed a face slap was humiliating to both humans and devils. All the runes on his wings lit up. The space around him collapsed as a terrifying pressure locked onto Long Chen. Die. The white bone spear began to rumble, its sound filling heaven and earth. This attack was undodgeable. The long-haired man was completely infuriated now and wanted to kill Long Chen with this move. Five-star battle armor. Long Chen closed his eyes for a moment. When he reopened them, five stars were revolving within them, and the five-point star in his divine ring ignited. A pillar of light soared into the sky. You're the one who's going to die. Long Chen felt all his energy erupting out of him. With his five-star battle armor, he slashed his saber at the long-haired man. When their two divine weapons collided, the Devil Abyss's land exploded. Huge cracks appeared in every direction. The corpses of the devil creatures on the ground were blown to bits. When it comes to power, you are still lacking. The long-haired man was looking at Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. BangNavaloon.com Long Chen's foot struck like lightning, landing on the long-haired man's abdomen. He was sent flying. Long Chen glanced at how the battlefield had changed since he had become entangled with his opponent. There was an endless tide of Empyrean winged blood devils charging out. 
They had yet to reach the Tao sect's disciples, but those disciples had already formed a tight formation. These disciples clenched their teeth, ready for their death. There was no way they could survive today. However, even if they had to die, they would draw a few devil creatures down with them. Guo Ran, there's no need to hold back any longer. Please start your show, called out Long Chen. Ha ha ha, good. Brothers, cheer and shout. The savior always comes at the last moment. Guo Ran suddenly laughed and charged into the army of Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. Chapter 1702 I'm a clairvoyant translator, born to be Guo Ran. Seeing Guo Ran charge into the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils on his own, all the Tao sect's disciples let out startled cries. Even the Dragon Blood Warriors jumped in fright. The Empyrean Winged Blood Devils were so strong that even Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and the others working together found it difficult to hold back their charge. They had forcibly formed a defensive line to keep them from charging past. If a large number of Empyrean Winged Blood Devils charged through, then even the Dragon Blood Warriors would start dying. And if they reached the Tao Sect's disciples? It would be like a tiger was let loose amongst a flock of sheep. That was why Meng Chi and the others had formed a line to keep them back. The Empyrean Winged Blood Devils crashed against their defensive line like angry waves. The pressure on them was immense. Only a small portion of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils managed to get by and reach the Dragon Blood Warriors. The number of Empyrean Winged Blood Devils that reached the Dragon Blood Warriors was low enough that with their skillful cooperation, they were able to kill them quickly. This moment showed the Dragon Blood Warriors' truly terrifying aspect. They used the smallest price to kill the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, exchanging injuries for lives. That ruthlessness shook the hearts of the Tao sect's disciples. Even if they were injured, the healing experts would quickly use a healing art on them, instantly healing them. Hua Xiaoyu, Mu Qingxuan, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen and the other Empyreans formed another defensive line behind the Dragon Blood Legion. They were also top geniuses with their own pride. Even in death, they were unwilling to be the useless cowards everyone else was defending. Without Hua Shiyu's orders, the stronger rank 9 Celestials also came forward. They launched long-range attacks, alleviating some of the pressure on the warriors ahead of them. Although the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils were very powerful, they were unable to break through their defenses. However, at this time, Guo Ran flew forward on his own, shocking everyone. If he was caught in the midst of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, then no matter how many lives he had, it wouldn't be enough. I swept through the four seas shut up. Will you die if you don't pose? Get to work. Guo Ran had just cleared his throat and started chanting his trademark phrase when he was cursed by Long Chen. He forcibly swallowed the following lines. Long Chen was still fighting intensely against the long-haired man in the sky. A black saber and white bone spear repeatedly clashed. Their battle was exceptionally fierce, but Long Chen was still keeping an eye on the battlefield. Yes, boss. Guo Ran didn't tarry. He suddenly spread his wings and put away his sabers. Six holes appeared on his wings. At the same time, a one-inch hole appeared on the armor on his palms and soles. From those ten holes, jets of black water shot out. As Guo Ran flew through the air, a rain of black water fell. Ahh when the black water landed on the Empyrean winged blood devils, they let out mournful cries. Each drop corroded a large hole in their bodies. It was like they were snowmen meeting boiling rain. Giant holes instantly appeared in them. What is this? Ah, the black rain made the Empyrean winged blood devils roar with pain. The black water was especially effective when it landed on their heads. That would almost instantly kill them. Guo Ran flew back and forth, releasing the black rain. The Empyrean winged blood devils quickly collapsed. And this scene stunned everyone. Heavens, boss Guo Ran still had such a terrifying trump card? But he managed to hold it all the way until now. That's out of character, said one dragon blood warrior. Just what was this black water? How could it be so terrifying that even the bone swords of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils would corrode upon contact? In the end, the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils corroded into nothing, leaving behind only a fist-sized bone from their heads. It was a strange kind of crystal core. Devil cores. Startled cries rang out. High-ranking experts of the devil race would concentrate their lives cultivation into a devil core. 
similar to a magical beast's crystal core. This kind of devil core was extremely valuable. It could be used in formations. Due to their special internal structure, they would automatically absorb energy from the air to support the formation, reducing the need for spending spiritual stones on maintaining it. They were priceless treasures that could keep a formation activated forever. The bodies of the Empyrean winged blood devils weren't able to resist the black water, but these devil cores weren't harmed. They were preserved in perfect condition. Big Sister Chu Yao, help me gather these devil cores. Those are treasures, shouted Guo Ran as he sprayed more black water. The pressure on the others instantly lessened from his attack. Let me, that black water is toxic, and you shouldn't touch it so easily. That bastard Guo Ran, he knew that if he told me to do it directly, I'd ignore him. So he asked you to, how loathsome. Chu Yao was just about to gather the devil cores when Lu Ruyan stopped her. The black water had touched everything, and that death chi would definitely harm Chu Yao if she used her wood energy to touch it. As for Lu Ruyan, she was an undying willow and possessed a great resistance to this kind of death energy. When Long Chen's black soil had annihilated other tree demons, it hadn't been able to kill her. Countless roots silently came out of the ground and wrapped around the devil cores like tentacles, pulling them away. Boss Guo Ran is mighty. He's first place shouted a dragon blood warrior he has seven kill points with each one representing one trillion since each empyrean winged blood devil is worth 100 million points he has already killed almost 70,000 of them men chi sighed emotionally long chen and guo ran are both scoundrels they had such a powerful move but didn't tell us it really was frightening just now said tang waner hatefully there had been so many Empyrean winged blood devils that it had caused despair. Yet, as soon as Guo Ran unleashed this black water, killing them felt easier than breathing. However, neither of them had told the others about this trump card, making Tang Waner worry for nothing. Boom. With an explosive sound, the long-haired man smashed into the ground like a shooting star. Long Chen quickly followed him, slashing with his saber. The long-haired man was forced back once more. You should worry about yourself. Long Chen lazily smiled at the long-haired man. In their battle, the two of them had fought evenly. It went without saying that this long-haired man's combat power was truly terrifying. However, he was unable to suppress Long Chen. Seeing Guo Ran unleash a trump card that annihilated the Empyrean winged blood devils, the long-haired man had tried to fly toward Guo Ran, but he had been blocked by Long Chen. Bastard, you're really provoking me. The long-haired man suddenly roared. Divine light came from his head, covering his entire body. As he spread his wings, space tore apart and he vanished. He was using the previous ability he had used. Something similar to teleportation. He was moving within space without anyone being able to track him. Long Chen sneered and suddenly slashed Evil Moon behind him. Just as he slashed his saber, a figure appeared. It was the long-haired man that had just vanished. It was like Long Chen had long since known his location and was welcoming him. The long-haired man was shocked. His hasty block resulted in him coughing up blood and miserably flying back. Impossible. The heavenly wing space tier divine ability has no flaws. How could you tell where I would appear? Raged the long-haired man. Sorry to tell you this, but I'm a clairvoyant. I know the heavens. I know the earth. And I know everything in between. As soon as you clench your butt. I know what kind of fart you're about to release. So everything about you is within my control. I couldn't control when you were born, but I can control when you'll die. It's just up to my mood, said Long Chen lightly. Bullshit. The long-haired man spread his heavenly wings and vanished once more. Long Chen sneered and slashed his saber to the left, a bit ahead of him. Space tore open in front of his saber, revealing the long-haired man. Half his arm was now gone and blood covered his upper body. This time, the saber had struck him while he was traveling through space, and it destroyed the space where he was going. If he hadn't been strong enough, he would have been cut in two by this attack. Now do you believe it? Each of your movements, each of your actions is within my control. In front of me, you have no chance, said Long Chen indifferently, pointing Evil Moon at him. The long-haired man was caught between shock and rage. He was confident in his divine ability, but Long Chen was actually able to track him.
He found it inconceivable. Long Chen, your bragging ability is unrivaled. Your face doesn't even turn red. I have to admire how shameless you are. And this fellow really is an idiot. Does he not notice the black energy enveloping this space? Said Evil Moon. Long Chen, a clairvoyant? That was naturally nonsense. He had stealthily spread the black illusion dragon flame's energy throughout the space. This underground world was already full of darkness and ferocity, similar to the black illusion dragon flame. With how stealthy and how weak he spread it, the long-haired man hadn't noticed it at all. Every spatial fluctuation within this space was easily sensed by Long Chen thanks to this. That was the only reason he was able to track the long-haired man. However, the long-haired man had no idea, so he was simply stunned by Long Chen's words. As for Long Chen, he didn't act lazy. He once more attacked. The long-haired man was repeatedly forced back by Long Chen's attacks. He was a bit timid and suppressed now. In the sky, Long Chen had suppressed the long-haired man, while down below, Guo Ran was suppressing the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. A shocking reversal had occurred on the battlefield. Chapter 1703 There's Piss. You want it? Translator. Born to be Guo Ran flew through the air, unleashing a constant rain of black water. Even the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils were unable to do anything to the black rain. No matter what divine abilities they unleashed, no matter how they summoned winds to blow the water away, the rain would ignore their attacks and land on their bodies. Countless Empyrean winged blood devils died, wailing without the slightest ability to resist. Guo Ran felt like flowers were blooming inside his heart. His gratitude toward Long Chen came in an unending stream. Long Chen had given him all the death spirit water he had brought out of the netherworld. This kind of efficient killing was better than any other move. This was a safe, fast, painless, high-end, imposing, and superior killing art. Long Chen had given Guo Ran the ability to show off like this. How could Guo Ran not be grateful? He almost shed tears of gratitude. Guo Ran caused chaos amongst the Empyrean winged blood devils wherever he went. They tried to dodge, but there was black rain everywhere. Nowhere was safe. Kill him. Once his defenses are broken, he won't be able to handle the black water either. From the other side of the gate came a roar. The roar came from a group of Empyrean winged blood devils, but their cultivation bases were too high to pass through the channel. They could only stand and watch. No more Empyrean winged blood devils were charging through the gate, as they all saw that they were unable to do anything to Guo Ran. The number of devils that went through would become the number of devils who died. Nothing could be done. Their strongest fighter, the long-haired man, was completely entangled with Long Chen and couldn't target Guo Ran. However, the seniors of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils had keen eyesight, and they saw a porcelain luster coming from Guo Ran's body. That was what was protecting his armor. Obviously, without that layer of protection, even Guo Ran wouldn't be able to endure the black water. So right now, the main point was whether or not they could break that defense. Come at me. Let's see if you can break it. Guo Ran sneered at a mass of Empyrean winged blood devils that charged at him regardless of the danger. He suddenly took out a cannon. Boom. A water ball shot out of the cannon and exploded amongst the Empyrean winged blood devils. Ahh hundreds of Empyrean winged blood devils were devoured by the black water and instantly killed. Come. Come. Another cannon appeared in Guo Ran's other hand. He shot at some Empyrean winged blood devils that were hiding in the distance. Black water exploded in that area. There was nowhere to dodge or run. Anything in this region was within Guo Ran's reach. The current Guo Ran was like the reincarnation of a war god, slaughtering those Empyrean winged blood devils until they were like chickens and dogs. A portion of the Empyrean winged blood devils were smart and tried to attack the Dao sect's disciples. Guo Ran wouldn't dare to shoot in that direction. However, as soon as they got close, Meng Chi would form a hand seal, and her manifestation would unleash a powerful spiritual attack. After that, the Empyrean winged blood devils would feel a burst of pain in their souls, causing a brief bout of dizziness. In that single moment, sharp wooden stakes and earthen spears would fly out of the ground, striking them with such power that their bodies exploded. With Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan joining hands. None of those Empyrean winged blood devils could get close. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples cheered. 
Before this, Menchi and the others had already appeared so terrifying, but now these disciples saw that they had yet to reveal their true power. Tens of thousands of Empyrean winged blood devils were dead or dying, adding on the side of Menchi and the others using their full power for the first time. The disciples felt their blood blazing within them. The dragon blood legion was full of monsters. Each of them was so powerful that it sparked disbelief. Guo Ran was unleashing a rain of black water that was annihilating countless Empyrean winged blood devils, while Menchi and the others revealed a stunning combination attack. This showed the disciples what true experts were. They felt immense veneration and admiration toward each member of the Dragon Blood Legion. Each of them was a real warrior. Haha, <laughs> I, Guo Ran, will bring a stop to the wild ambitions of you evil creatures. Little ants, remember the name of Guo Ran. This godly name requires no title or nickname, yet it is like a blazing sun, an ear-splitting name that will resound through the ages. In front of me, Guo Ran, you can only crawl beneath my feet. Tremble before me, weep your tears ah. Guo Ran was in the midst of unleashing his reign of black water, feeling like he was growing more and more badass. However, just as he was bragging wildly, his expression changed. The moment he tried to shoot his cannon again, it was no longer a water ball that flew out. Instead, it was a tiny little trickle that dribbled out. When he tried again, instead of a black water ball, the cannon exploded. That sound was similar to a fart. Guo Ran's bragging came to a sudden stop. The dragon blood warriors and the Empyrean winged blood devils all looked at him. What are you looking at? Do you think I'm out of stock? HMPH. I'm telling you that I have plenty more where that came from. Do you dare to come and test me? Rage Guo Ran upon seeing the Empyrean winged blood devils looking at him eagerly. Guo Ran's attempt at intimidation resulted in all the surviving Empyrean winged blood devils on the battlefield charging at him. They didn't fall for his bluff at all. Fuck. I'm telling you that I still have plenty left. You'll regret it in a bit. Shouted Guo Ran severely. Die. Who do you think you're trying to fool? The Empyrean winged blood devils slashed their bone swords at Guo Ran, and he hastily switched out armaments, summoning his strongest armor and switching to his golden sabers. Boom. The first Empyrean winged blood devil was sent flying by Guo Ran. With his golden armor, Guo Ran's power was even greater than Gu Yang's. If it weren't for the fact that he couldn't use his golden armor to unleash magical arts, his combat power would be even greater. Seeing the first Empyrean winged blood devil was sent flying, the others confirmed that Guo Ran was out of the black water. They surrounded him. Bastards. Just wait a moment. I really do have plenty of stock left. If you scram now, it won't be too late. Otherwise, don't blame me for not warning you. Shouted Guo Ran. Do you think we're idiots? The Empyrean winged blood devils roared angrily. They naturally wouldn't believe such a lie. They attacked Guo Ran not giving him a chance to breathe. Guo Ran, don't panic. I'll save you, shouted Long Chen, forcing away the long-haired man and flying toward Guo Ran. Keep dreaming. Bloodlight barrier the long-haired man suddenly unleashed 10,000 runes from his wings. They connected, forming a giant net that blocked Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber at it, but the net's runes lit up and bent along with his attack. It was too flexible and tough for him to break. The bloodlight barrier is one of my Empyrean winged blood devil race's top divine abilities. Why don't you see if you can destroy it? Laughed the long-haired man. Long Chen repeatedly slashed his saber without being able to break it. He could only fall back. If he didn't, the net would trap him. Guo Ran, don't panic. Once I kill this fellow, I'll come save you. Shouted Long Chen, once more attacking the long-haired man. Since Long Chen was unable to help him. Guo Ran fell into desperate straits. Men Chi and the others were about to go help when a horde of Empyrean winged blood devils poured out of the spatial gate. Don't worry about me. Defend. Shouted Guo Ran. He suddenly flew into the air. Unable to block so many Empyrean winged blood devils. He switched to running. Idiot. The sky belongs to the Empyrean winged blood devils race. The huge Empyrean winged blood devil army chased after Guo Ran. After all. They hated him to the bone and wanted him dead now. The senior Empyrean winged blood devils on the other side of the gate were giving out orders, telling the ones capable of getting through the channel to charge and eliminate their enemies. 
In less than an incense stick's worth of time, the entire battlefield was filled with Empyrean winged blood devils. They were on the ground, they were in the air, their numbers were simply incalculable. They unleashed berserk attacks. Hey, wait a moment and listen to me. We're all civilized. So what's the point of fighting? Why not sit down and amicably drink a few cups of tea? Guo Ran was like a golden shooting star as he pushed his speed to its peak, weaving back and forth through the Empyrean winged blood devils. They were unable to catch him. The only thing we want to drink is your blood. Using my boss's words, there's no blood, but there's piss. Do you want it? Laughed Guo Ran. Die. Countless Empyrean winged blood devils roared furiously. The majority of them were chasing Guo Ran while another portion was fighting with the dragon blood legion. The pressure on that side was starting to grow too intense. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and the others were fighting all out. Other than Yu Zifeng, they had all summoned their manifestations. Lu Ruian in particular was ferocious. In the body of an undying willow, her leaves were like celestial spears raining down on the Empyrean winged blood devils. This was the true battle. More and more Empyrean winged blood devils appeared, crashing down on their defensive lines wave after wave. That's about enough. Guo Ran, go ahead. Long Chen's originally panicked expression suddenly vanished. The Empyrean winged blood devils, as well as the old fellows on the other side of the gate, all stiffened. Chapter 1704 Where is Heaven's Logic? Translator, born to be you idiots. I tried to advise you so much but you refused to believe me. Well, that's fine. I will kindly send you to another world. Guo Ran suddenly changed tones. Dozens of thumb-sized holes opened in his armor, and small balls of black water shot out of them. Those small water balls exploded amongst the Empyrean winged blood devils attacking him. They had no time to dodge and miserably howled as they fell from the sky. The other Empyrean winged blood devils retreated. With one attack, Guo Ran forced back the Empyrean winged blood devils. A layer of porcelain-like material covered his armor once again. This was the special porcelain he was using to block the black spirit water from damaging himself. Only porcelain and jade were capable of blocking its corrosion. Other objects, even divine items, would corrode on contact. Face your deaths. Fully armed once more, Guo Ran's dual sabers vanished, replaced with cannons again. He started shooting once more. The Empyrean winged blood devils howled as they fled in every direction. Guo Ran was once more unmatched. A rain of death spirit water shot out of him. How is it? Is it refreshing like rainfall after a long drought? Correct. I'm a celestial god that came to relieve you of your drought. Under my divine nectar, you will obtain rebirth. Don't be afraid. Don't run. It will only be painful for a moment. Once the pain passes you will be reborn in the flames of another world. There's no need to thank me. This is simply what I should do as a man. Guo Ran was constantly chattering away as he unleashed the black water. Fuck. We got duped. Roared an Empyrean winged blood devil. They finally realized that Guo Ran had just been acting like he had run out of the black water to trick more of them into coming. You weren't the only ones to fall for it. We got duped as well. Those scoundrels Long Chen and Guo Ran. I got so scared just now, raged Tang Wanner with embarrassment. Endless waves of wind blades were coming out of the manifestation behind her. No matter how those Empyrean winged blood devils charged at her, they were unable to shake her at all. You already know how evil Long Chen is. His panicked expression tricked everyone. Chu Yao also shook her head. However, it was because their acting was so good that they had so easily tricked their opponents. Guo Ran took back first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. With this breather, everyone saw that Guo Ran, who was once more sprinkling his divine nectar, had managed to take back first place after dropping to fifth. Before, his black water was so powerful that the Empyrean winged blood devils hadn't dared to go through the gate to fight, resulting in him not being able to rise in points. After briefly taking first place, he had quickly been surpassed by others. It had been Len Yuian who had taken first, with Dong Mingyu being a close second. The two were essentially even. Dong Mingyu would occasionally look like she might take first place, but she was just off by a little bit from surpassing Len Yuian. Third had been the arrogant fellow from the Xuan Beasts. 
true immortal Jiaoki. Mo Nian had been fourth. However, since Guo Ran had taken back first place, they all fell back by a rank. Now, sixth place was that person called Hu Fang. Seventh was Zhao Zuhan. Eighth was Xiang Yunfei, an expert from the ancient races. Ninth place was Zi Yan, while tenth place was the Pill Fairy, Yu Kingsuan. Yi Zhikia was ranked eleventh, unable to get into the top ten. As for the original first place Xia Chen, he had fallen to twelfth. It could be seen how intense the competition for the top ten was. However, along with that intense struggle was a cruel reality. Names would occasionally disappear from it, showing that top heavenly geniuses had just died. After all, this was a true battle, not a game. The people who were in the rankings and died were all amazing experts in their own right. That was because following the arrival of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, only top experts could possibly dare to fight in that horde of enemies. The ordinary experts were unable to resist such terrifying opponents and had long since retreated to their sects. With their sect's formations and divine items, combined with their sect leaders and elders, they could slaughter the devil creatures as they came out of the channel. Thus, the majority of those dying were experts near the top rankings. This principle was similar to the fact that it was more often those who knew how to swim that ended up drowning. It was their arrogance that brought their downfall. The devil slaughter rankings weren't so easy. Even top experts could die. Li Qi. Do you sense anything strange? Song Mingyuan suddenly turned to Li Qi as he controlled his earthen giant. What Li Qi was startled. I feel like the wall we built is a bit loose. Should we reinforce it? Song Mingyuan looked back at the giant defensive wall behind them. You're overthinking it. The Empyrean winged blood devils haven't had any chance to attack the wall. Just the shock waves of the battle aren't able to shake it. Plus, now isn't the time to get distracted. These fellows are like panicked rabbits because of Guo Ran, and they'll attack us crazily. We can investigate once this wave is over, said Li Qi. All right, Song Mingyuan nodded. The Empyrean winged blood devils were now trapped here and being slaughtered by Guo Ran. As the gate was a one-way street, they were now attacking with no regard to their own lives, so the disciples couldn't be careless. Not long after that quiet conversation, a transparent figure appeared out of the earthen wall that Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had constructed. This figure was essentially invisible, nothing more than thin air. It silently passed through the wall, with everyone fighting the Empyrean winged blood devils. No one noticed that something strange had appeared behind them. This almost invisible figure didn't cause any damage to the wall when it passed through it. Instead, it slowly sank into the ground, vanishing without a sound. In the depths of the Devil Abyss, where an endless horde of devil creatures had formed a giant flood, a woman in provocative clothes with a bone sword repeatedly attacked. Each time she swung her bone sword, it would unleash a brilliant explosion of light. Wherever her sword light passed, the devil creatures would collapse Novaloon.com This woman was the corrupt path's genius, Len Yuian. She was alone, dominating this channel herself. The corpses of the Empyrean winged blood devils had already piled into mountains. Furthermore, Len Yuian held the head of a white-haired man. If Long Chen could see it, he would recognize it. This man's aura was almost identical to the man that he was fighting. He should be a king amongst the Empyrean winged blood devil race. Someone with an exceptional bloodline that gave him immense combat power. However, his head was lifeless in Len Yuian's hand. His eyes were still filled with shock. Len Yuian slashed her sword a few times, the sharp sword light wiping out the majority of the Empyrean winged blood devils near her. She put away the head and frowned. Just what kind of ability does this Guo Ran have to repeatedly take first place? In a similar place, there was a cloaked girl with a dagger. Within the manifestation behind her was a giant figure holding a massive sickle. The sickle was larger than a mountain but it was sweeping through the Empyrean winged blood devils before her without her needing to do anything. Anything that touched that terrifying sickle would explode. The rate at which she killed her enemies was astonishing. This girl had once taken first place on the devil slaughter rankings for a while. Now, she was chasing Len Yuian. She was Dong Mingyu from the Blood Kill Hall. The girl was holding a dagger with one hand and a jade plate with the other. Guo Ran? That fellow who hides in a turtle shell all day and doesn't dare to face others? 
How could he be so strong? The girl muttered to herself, unable to comprehend how Guo Ran's killing speed could actually be greater than herself and Len Yuan's. Roar. A furious roar shook the heavens. A sound wave blew apart the Empyrean winged blood devils that had just charged over. There was a giant figure in the sky. It was an ancient beast covered in scales, similar to a killin. However, it also possessed a long tail. It was the tail of a drake. Boom. That giant tail smashed apart the ground with a casual swing. It was like a godly whip capable of bringing down the stars. It was unknown how many Empyrean winged blood devils were killed with a casual swing of it. Guo Ran? What thing is that? Whatever it is, anyone who dares to take first place from me will die eventually. This giant figure was currently ranked third on the devil slaughter rankings. True immortal giant Oki from the Xuan Beasts. If someone saw his body, they would immediately understand why he called himself Jiaoki. He was actually in possession of two ancient bloodlines, the Zhao, also known as the Drake, as well as the Kilin. It was no wonder he dared to call himself True Immortal. However, this True Immortal Jiaoki was filled with fury. He had already summoned his true body and unleashed his strongest area attacks, but he was unable to get higher than third place the entire time. He was actually surpassed by two humans. Then, Guo Ran, who looked like he was practically cheating, had shot from fifth place to first place in an instant, making his ranking drop. How could he not be angry? Regretfully, his anger had no use. All he could do was focus on killing the Empyrean winged blood devils, or his ranking might fall even more. There was another human right on his tail in terms of points. What the fuck? What kind of drug did that fellow eat? Mo Nian was holding a five-colored bow. With each blink of an eye, dozens of arrows would shoot out. Each arrow would explode amongst the Empyrean winged blood devils, slaughtering them. His attack speed and efficiency were dumbfounding. No one had ever seen such an archer with such speed. It was impossible to even see his shooting movements. However, even with such speed and power, he was unable to catch up to the true immortal Jiaoki in front of him. But that wasn't what confused him. What he found completely incomprehensible was that even that wretched fellow Guo Ran was able to so easily take first place. Where is heaven's logic? Mo Nian let out a mournful sigh. This was a huge blow to him, but he couldn't slow down, or he'd quickly be surpassed by the others behind him. Chapter 1705 Being Sabotaged Translator Born to be what a group of monsters. I've gotten good rolls three times in a row and I still can't pass them. In the depths of the devil abyss, a man stood on the ground. Beside him was a giant black dragon unleashing its breath, annihilating the Empyrean winged blood devils. This black dragon was 30,000 meters long and had three heads unleashing dragon breath at the same time, killing any Empyrean winged blood devils in the vicinity. Although its aura was only around the 10th tier, its killing power was astonishing. However, even with this dragon, the man couldn't help but sigh upon seeing his kill points. This person was Hu Fang, a dark horse in the devil slaughter rankings. His ranking was consistently inconsistent. However, he did manage to stay in the top 10 at this time. Nevertheless, when he looked at the first place Guo Ran, he despaired. Guo Ran's kill points were almost double Len Yuan's who was in second place. His current number was 103. In other words, 103 trillion kill points. Each Empyrean winged blood devil that was killed was worth 100 million kill points. So Guo Ran had killed around a million Empyrean winged blood devils. As for Hu Fang, he was only at 37. The difference was immense. Isn't the Eastern Xuan region's strongest expert called Long Chen? How is this Guo Ran first? Hu Fang didn't understand, but it didn't matter. He continued directing the Black Dragon to fight. He had to maintain his current position. If he slowed down, he might get passed by others. Monsters. All monsters. How am I supposed to compete against them? The sky was filled with exploding runes, raining down from a huge formation. Those runes exploded, blasting the Empyrean winged blood devils to pieces. Within this huge formation was a man with a helpless expression. He was looking at the jade plate in his hand. This man was Xia Chen the person who had dominated the devil slaughter rankings for over a month. However, now he was bitter. He had already fallen out of the top 10. 
he had to make a painful decision. Do I force it or not? Xia Chen mulled it over. He stared at the devil slaughter rankings for a long time before shaking his head. No, I should save what little I have. If I pack up now, I won't have lost out, although I won't have made anything either. However, if I spend everything I have and still don't get into the top 10, that would be the worst case scenario. How unlucky. How did I encounter so many monsters? I thought I'd get in the top 3 at least. Looks like I overestimated myself and underestimated others. Xia Chen was a bit unwilling but in the end, the huge formation vanished. Xia Chen's figure also vanished amongst the endless devil creatures. Less than a breath's time after he left, his ranking fell one spot. Three breaths later, he fell out of the top 20. An incense sticks worth of time later, he was out of the top 100. From this, one could see how intense the competition of the devil slaughter rankings was. No one could stop or slow down, or they'd be passed by others. In the eastern Xuan region's devil abyss, the Empyrean winged blood devils were still falling in droves. With each passing breath, thousands of them died. This wasn't even a battle anymore. It was a one-sided slaughter. The Empyrean winged blood devils had no ability to resist in front of Guo Ran. Their deaths were only a matter of time. Behind them was the spatial gate that they couldn't go back through, while in front of them was the rock-solid defense of Menchi and the others that they couldn't break through. In the sky, Guo Ran was the Devil King, constantly reaping their lives. There was nowhere for them to go. On the other side of the spatial gate were countless Empyrean winged blood devils. Their auras were on the level of the human race's life star realm. However, despite that power, they could only roar unwillingly. They were unable to pass through the gate, as it didn't allow such powerful creatures to pass. They could only watch as their fellows were killed. Despicable human race, you won't have a good death, cursed the Empyrean winged blood devils on the other side. Regretfully for them, cursing couldn't change the results. The number of winged devils on the battlefield rapidly dropped. They soon became sparse. Guo Ran had managed to rack up 317 kill points. Over 180 more than Len Yuian. Oh, Guo Ran was still crazily unleashing the black water when he suddenly realized he had used it all up. Fuck. Did I really? Guo Ran instantly became dumbfounded. This time, he really had used it all up. He had been feeling too amazing and hadn't checked how much of the death spirit water he had. Long Chen had previously told him not to mess around. At any time. Keeping some backup plans was necessary to handle unexpected things. However, he had used it all up while he was lost in the ecstasy of seeing his kill points soar. He had no idea how he was supposed to explain himself to Long Chen, or what he should do now that he was just floating in the air. Seeing Guo Ran stop, the Empyrean winged blood devils that were running away from him came to a stop as well. He really should be out of it now. Don't fall for it. Be careful. I agree. The human race is so sinister. Be careful of their ploys. The Empyrean winged blood devils had become cautious after being fooled before. Guo Ran didn't move. And they didn't move either. They didn't attack Guo Ran nor Menchi and the others. The battlefield became strange. Just at this moment, the spatial gate shuddered and began to shrink. Ha ha ha. The spatial gate is finally closing. We've won. Shouted Guo Ran excitedly. The spatial gate had a time limit to it. This intense shuddering meant that it was about to close. Seeing that, the Empyrean winged blood devils' expressions changed. Once the gate closed, they would really be trapped here. Boom. Suddenly, the long-haired man fighting Long Chen folded his wings and formed a giant blade with them that slashed at Long Chen, forcing him back. The long-haired man vanished. Want to run? Keep dreaming. Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals and countless lightning runes appeared in the space around him. His figure also vanished. When he reappeared, he was punching thin air. The space there exploded, revealing the long-haired man's fleeing figure. He coughed up blood. Long Chen's celestial lightning body blink allowed him to catch up instantly. His punch broke the long-haired man's shoulder. At the same time, Evil Moon slashed toward the long-haired man's arm. It severed his arm at the elbow. Long Chen then sent out a kick. This attack wasn't aimed at the long-haired man but his white bone spear. From using the celestial lightning body blink, figuring out his location, punching, slashing, and kicking, 
his movements were smooth and perfectly connected, not giving the long-haired man any chance to react. Thank you, boss, shouted Gu Yang as he caught the white bone spear that was flying toward him. Clearly, Long Chen was sending him a divine weapon. However, the white bone spear was so heavy that Gu Yang couldn't even catch it properly. He held onto it as he tumbled into the distance with it, even coughing up a mouthful of blood. However, he didn't care about that. This bone spear was now his. However, Gu Yang's expression suddenly changed. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, help me out. It wants to run. The bone spear's runes had lit up. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan hastily grabbed it as well, the three of them working together to bind it. Heavenly Wing Tear the long-haired man tried to use his connection with the bone spear to summon it back to him, but Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were preventing that. As for Long Chen, he was already coming for him, clenching his teeth. He could only face Long Chen directly. However, he had just formed a hand seal and had yet to fully activate his magical art when Long Chen appeared in front of him like a phantom, slapping him across the face. He staggered back. Blood Devil the long-haired man tried to use another magical art when he was interrupted by another slap. Having his techniques interrupted repeatedly caused the long-haired man to cough up a mouthful of blood. Having energy condense in his body and then being interrupted before he could unleash it resulted in that energy exploding inside him. If it weren't for his immense talent and powerful bloodline, his body would have exploded. Right now, Long Chen's eyes lit up. He had fought this long with the long-haired man precisely for this one opportunity to capture him alive. Long Chen didn't care whether this man lived or died, but he did care about what secrets the latter was holding in his head. This fellow had a special status and had to know some secrets. To defeat him would have been easy, and killing him would not have been too hard for Long Chen. However, capturing him alive was far too difficult. As soon as this guy sensed something wrong, he might just kill himself, leaving Long Chen with nothing. Through this long battle, Long Chen had been examining his fighting style, as well as the tempo of his magical arts, his habits, the changes in his aura, his hand seals. Long Chen had memorized them all. Seeing that the channel was about to close, Long Chen knew that now was his chance. Otherwise, he might run. This fellow's status was not ordinary. Most likely, those old fellows on the other side would use some special art to bring him back just like the one they had used to send him through. That was why Long Chen unleashed his full power to catch him off guard, interrupting his magical arts and causing a backlash. He was now heavily injured. Long Chen's hand reached toward the long-haired man's head. He wanted to take his crystal core and then use his spiritual strength to fully suppress the long-haired man. That way, he would be able to go through his memories. However, just as he was grasping this golden opportunity, a figure appeared in front of the spatial gate. That figure took out a miniature pagoda that sparkled like jade. The air of a grand Dao appeared along with surging primal chaos. Not good. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He immediately abandoned the long-haired man and charged toward that figure. He, too late. You can all go die. That figure laughed and suddenly tossed the pagoda into the spatial gate. It suddenly grew larger and then exploded. Countless runes appeared on the channel. The spatial gate, which had been in the midst of shrinking, explosively grew. The entire world began to shake, and the ground was collapsing. It was like the end of the world had come. Chapter 1706 Surging Fury Translator Born to be Long Chen had reacted immediately, but he was still one step too slow. That person still managed to toss the pagoda into the spatial gate. Long Chen was enraged. He hadn't expected someone to be able to sneak their way here without him even sensing it. Although he didn't know what that person was doing, it definitely wasn't something good. In his fury, he slashed Devil Moon at the figure. Long Chen, patiently await your death. Ha ha ha. That figure was enveloped by divine runes that covered his true face. However, he sounded masculine and young. Those runes around him began to fade in the face of Long Chen's saber. His entire body faded along with them, vanishing. Starfall. Long Chen was startled. He had clearly locked onto this fellow, but the latter had instantly escaped his lock. This was his first time encountering such a thing. Without even thinking about it, as his saber landed on nothing, 
Long Chen raised his left hand, unleashing Starfall toward the space not far from him. Boom. Space exploded, revealing the figure that had already fled a hundred miles. He was forced out of hiding by Long Chen's attack. Raging Flame Prison. Long Chen formed one-handed seals, and golden flames condensed in the distance, forming a giant cage. Your reactions are fast, but unfortunately, you still can't hold me. That figure suddenly began to shine, and eight strange symbols appeared around him. When those symbols appeared, the energy of heaven and earth began to move slower. Long Chen hastily forced the raging flame prison to close, but it was still a bit too slow. That person suddenly took out a sword, which was inscribed with countless tiny runes. It was like a ruler used by a tailor. That sword swung through the air, causing countless runes to explode in the air. Long Chen was surprised. Explode Long Chen directly detonated the raging flame prison, causing flames to devour that space, crumbling it. Within those flames, that figure coughed up blood, not having expected Long Chen to do such a thing. Long Chen had no idea what kind of magical art this person was using, but he had already managed to sneak his way out from between the chains of the raging flame prison. That was why Long Chen had been forced to detonate it first. Heavenly Fate Island, you really are courting death. Long Chen finally guessed this person's identity. Only the people from Heavenly Fate Island could screen themselves from fate while still disturbing the lines of karma. It was no wonder the Nine Star Hegemon body art also didn't manage to sense them. As for that strange sword, it was no sword. It was actually a ruler, a special one used to appraise the very heavens. It was the specific weapon of Heavenly Fate Island. This ruler was covered in runes used to read the lines of fate. Whether it was for attacking or defending, it would calculate the weakest aspect of an opponent's attack or defense, allowing the user to easily dodge or counterattack. The appearance of the sword was just to cover up the fact that it was a ruler. However, while making it look like a sword might be able to trick others, it couldn't escape Long Chen's sixth sense. Don't you think saying that is already meaningless? You should think about how you plan on dying instead. That person didn't argue with Long Chen's declaration. Instead, he cut a cross in the air with his ruler, tearing through space and vanishing within it. That ruler was something capable of measuring the heavens, the earth, and all things in between. To be able to easily find spatial nodes within this turbulent space was something only Heavenly Fate Island's experts were capable of. This time, he hadn't used some kind of teleportation art but a true spatial transfer. Even if Long Chen caused the surrounding space to explode, he wouldn't be able to drag that expert out. He had already fled an extremely great distance. That expert had vanished. Far away from Long Chen, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and the others joined hands to attack the long-haired man. He was now charging toward the widened spatial channel. Lu Rui informed hand seals, sending a heaven-encompassing net of willow branches. No matter how the long-haired man tried, he couldn't get out. However, just as he was about to be captured, boom, the long-haired man ended up roaring furiously. His wings and crystal core unleashed blinding light as he self-detonated. His detonation blew apart Lu Ruian's branches. Boss, what do we do? Guo Ran and the others flew over. They were looking at the spatial gate that was still growing larger. They had no idea what to do. Just at this moment, cracks began to appear in the space around the spatial gate. The void began to explode, and web-like cracks spread. Boom. The entire underground space collapsed. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan slammed their earthen giant's hands on the ground, forming a huge bubble that covered everyone. Within the earthen bubble, they felt like they were a tiny boat on an angry sea. They were constantly flung about with such power that they almost coughed up blood. Boom. Finally, a particularly powerful blow caused the earthen bubble to explode. Some disciples were thrown into the distance. We're above ground. People were shocked to see the sun again. The underground space had collapsed. However, they weren't able to feel the slightest bit warm. They could still see the spatial gate. It was still growing larger, and its fluctuations were starting to stabilize. Once it stabilized, the new spatial channel that had been expanded would be able to allow those Empyrean winged blood devils that were on the level of the Life Star Realm to pass through. Before this, 
Just the soul transformation level Empyrean winged blood devils had already been terrifying enough. If it hadn't been for Guo Ran's black water, it was unknown how many of them would have died. If the Empyrean winged blood devils on the life star level came through, then who would be able to stop them? They were a whole major realm above the disciples. The Empyrean winged blood devils were already gathering and organizing themselves. They were just waiting for the spatial gate to stabilize. It was unknown what material that pagoda had been made out of for its explosion to actually damage the spatial gate structure. It had caused this side spatial energy to become incredibly weak, while the other side spatial energy had grown incredibly powerful. This imbalance was what would allow the higher ranking devil creatures to cross through. Can you put out the call for reinforcements? asked Long Chen. His expression was dark. Heavenly Fate Island had managed to scheme against them. Boss, we've already sent out the call, but we haven't received any response, said Guo Ran, looking at a formation tablet in his hand. Then there's no need to waste any more effort on it. Those bastards really know how to scheme. Since they've made their move, they're confident in getting us killed. They won't allow the Xuan Master to come save us, said Long Chen. He knew that a trap made by Heavenly Fate Island wouldn't be as simple as it appeared. Boss, what do we do? asked Guo Ran. They were all out of ideas. Long Chen took a deep breath. Have the Dao sect's disciples retreat back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect the Dragonblood Legion will stay behind. No. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. You can't push us away. We're also disciples of the Dao sect we will face death together. That's right. We're not leaving. We'll fight too. To have fought alongside you and the Dragonblood warriors. We'll be able to die without regrets Long Chen had just spoken when the Dao sect's disciples immediately began to shout objections, their eyes red. Long Chen was clearly planning on making a last stand against the Empyrean winged blood devils with the Dragonblood Legion. He might even be prepared to have sacrificed them along with himself. These disciples had been fighting in the Devil Abyss for so long. They had brushed past death repeatedly during this time. Under the intense pressure. They had formed solid bonds with their comrades. In the face of this bond, even their life didn't feel as important as before. Perhaps this was what it meant to love others as much as you loved yourself. HMPH. We're not dying. So don't get so emotional. I, Long Chen, am more afraid of death than anyone. So I naturally have my own arrangements, said Long Chen with a smile. Perhaps the battlefield was the place to form the fastest and strongest bonds. After this life and death battle, the Dao sect's hearts had been united. Really of course, don't mess around and return to the Dao sect immediately. I'm guessing that the Dao sect has been isolated from the rest of the world, which is why they can't receive our distress signal. You must go back and report the situation as fast as possible. We will do our best to hold this position as long as possible. We'll entrust our lives to you, said Long Chen. Hearing this, the disciples nodded. They immediately took out their maps and sped in the direction of the Dao sect only once they took out their maps did they realize that this was a barren land. There were no cities and no transportation formations in the surroundings. They could only use their own legs. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, it won't take that many people to report this. We feel like our combat power isn't bad. Let us stay and fight alongside you, pleaded a rank 9 celestial. You're too naive. Our enemies arranged this trap, so they won't let us receive assistance so easily. Who knows whether or not there will be enemies on the way back to the Dao sect. That's why you all have to go. Don't separate. Hurry up, shouted Long Chen. Yes, all the Dao sect's disciples began to rush toward the Zhuanshan Dao sect under the lead of Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, and the others. Only the Dragonblood Legion remained on the battlefield. Long Chen laughed. Brothers. Now it's just us. We can fight all out now. Ha ha ha. We've been itching for this moment. The Dragonblood warriors also laughed. Because of the Dao sect's disciples behind them. They hadn't been able to fight freely. Now. It was only them. Get into formation. Don't let them charge past. Long Chen immediately arranged the Dragonblood warriors into a defensive line. Blocking the path. Although the gate had been expanded. The actual path through was still the same size. It was just that it would allow life star level Empyrean winged blood devils through. 
whether or not they could win would be decided by whether they could defend the channel's exit. As soon as their enemies broke past the exit, they would be surrounded by enemies from the front and back. Boss, why is this central area empty? Once all the Dragonblood warriors stood in their position, they found that there was a giant empty space. Guo Ran couldn't help asking what that was for. Boom. Before Long Chen could reply, the spatial gate shook. It was now fully stabilized, and the channel within it was open. Countless Empyrean Winged Blood Devils charged through. Those Empyrean Winged Blood Devils had just charged into the channel when Long Chen crushed a talisman disc. A large group of people appeared in front of the channel, filling the previously empty space. Ha ha ha. Warriors of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. It must have been tough to hold back for so long. Don't blame me for it. I've left the best for you. Laughed Long Chen. Chapter 1707 Defending the Channel Translator. Born to be a group of large men appeared in front of the spatial gate, and they all had huge broadswords. The ones at the front were Bao Buping and Chang Hao. The disciples of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had come. Haha, <laughs> I thought that you had forgotten about us. Bao Buping looked at the endless Empyrean winged blood devils charging through the channel. Brothers, time to get to work. Chang Ha raised his broadsword. A huge sword image slashed out. Split the heavens five. A thousand disciples of the heaven splitting battle sect followed Chang Hao, raising all their broadswords together. A thousand attacks merged into one giant arc that slashed through the Empyrean winged blood devils. The Empyrean winged blood devils roared furiously as they resisted. But despite that, this one attack killed the majority of them. These Empyrean winged blood devils were on the life star level and their wings had bone-like supports growing out of them. Their defensive power was clearly much greater, but even they were unable to resist the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples' merged attack. This merged attack even shocked Long Chen. He had never thought of the possibility of split the heavens being able to merge. For the power of a thousand people to merge together so perfectly was extremely difficult. We just got here and directly ran into some tough bones. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were surprised that they hadn't managed to kill all the Empyrean winged blood devils in the channel. They were very clear on how powerful this merged attack was. Of course, this ability to merge split the heavens was one reason the heaven splitting battle sect had once been the head of the three great sects. Originally, Bao Buping and Chang Hao had been planning on giving Long Chen a nice surprise by slaughtering them all, but their expected perfect result never appeared. Of course, if they weren't tough, why would I call you? Everyone else, prepare yourselves. Assist the brothers from the heaven splitting battle sect in killing the Empyrean winged blood devils. Make sure no fish slip out of the net, shouted Long Chen. At this moment, the Empyrean winged blood devils had recollected themselves and were attempting another charge. The channel wasn't very long. They could cross it in just a few seconds. Split the heavens five. The first attackers retreated one step, while another 1,000 disciples replaced them, unleashing an identical attack. Boom. This time, the Empyrean winged blood devils were prepared. The ones at the front were killed, but the others behind managed to endure the impact and charge through. In their defensive states, they were too tough to kill. Half were killed, but half managed to charge through. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Wan Er, Ruian, Cloud and Zifeng, attack together, win us some buffer room, shouted Long Chen, following his orders, the six of them attacked at the same time, six long range attacks exploded through the spatial channel, those Empyrean winged blood devils were instantly killed, with no one managing to survive, this made Bao Buping and Chang Hao's expressions twitch, a thousand of them hadn't been as powerful as the six of them, that was too embarrassing, what are you lazy fellows doing? Summon your manifestations. Are you holding back your spiritual yuan until you have kids? Shouted Bao Buping. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples roared and summoned their manifestations. These 3,000 disciples were all ranked 9 celestials. These 3,000 disciples were the elites of the heaven splitting battle sect. The heaven splitting battle sect hadn't had that many disciples originally, but now that the world's karmic luck was changing, the old man had spent all that karmic luck on these 3,000 disciples. The power of these 3,000 elites was truly terrifying. Originally, 
Bao Buping and Chang Hao had been planning on going into the Devil Abyss with Long Chen, but after Long Chen had learned how powerful these disciples were, he had decided to keep them back as a trump card. Hence, he had Zheng Wenlong send him a long-distance transportation formation disc Long Chen had made Bao Buping and Chang Hao wait on standby as a killer trump card. He had predicted that there was a high chance of him being sneak attacked during this battle. After all, there were plenty of channels within the Devil Abyss that led to all the large sects. Anyone could go through any of them to sneak attack the Dragonblood Legion. That was why Long Chen had arranged warning indicators around the area they had been defending in the Devil Abyss. As long as a large number of experts got close to them, he would immediately be alerted of it. He had thought that the sneak attackers would be from the corrupt path, the ancient races, or the Xuan beasts. However, it had ended up being Heavenly Fate Island. If experts from Heavenly Fate Island wanted to sneak attack him, then those preparations he had made would be useless. As a result, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples had come into play. When they unleashed their full power, their killing prowess exploded. The 3,000 disciples divided into three waves cycling their attacks. At the same time, Meng Chi and the others were assisting. All of them forcibly blocked the channel. This is not a solution. Although we're only using the fifth form of split the heavens, it's still using up too much energy. It's only a matter of time until we're out of energy. After an incense sticks worth of time, each of the heaven splitting battle sects disciples had used the fifth form of split the heavens over ten times. The exhaustion was starting to grow. There's no way around it. We're stalling. This channel doesn't look like it will close for several hours. We have to defend it until the Xuan Master comes. Boss, if this continues, I'm going to be the first one to be unable to endure, said Guo Ran bitterly. He saw that his kill points were stagnating, while others were still crazily gaining points. It wouldn't be long before they surpassed him. What are you thinking about at such a critical time? Raged Long Chen, wanting to kick him. The channel had been forcibly opened, so it would need a long time to close again. It could be imagined how the monstrous existences on the Devil Slaughter rankings were going all out to get a higher rank. Just as everyone was crazily defending the channel, cracking sounds appeared. Shockingly, two more channels opened around the main channel. There are supreme experts on the other side using the unbalanced spatial energy to tear open two more channels shouted Meng Chi. Die. Those channels had just opened when hundreds of Empyrean winged blood devils charged through. The dragon blood legion will defend the left channel, while the heaven splitting battle sect will defend the right channel, ordered Long Chen. What about the main central channel? shouted Bao Buping. You guys just need to defend your channel. Leave this place to me. With Evil Moon in hand, Long Chen charged over to the main channel on his own. Long Chen, everyone jumped in shock, but the situation was too urgent for them to bother with it. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others rushed over to the left side. There were already hundreds of Empyrean winged blood devils here. They needed to be immediately killed. As their numbers increased, it would be more difficult to block the channel. Lu Ruian and Chu Yao unleashed a combination move. It was one of their ultimate moves. Countless wooden stakes and willow branches came from above and below, killing the Empyrean winged blood devils. Bao Buping and Chang Hao led their people over to the right channel. The power of the heaven splitting battle sect's disciple showed itself now. In the face of hundreds of Empyrean winged blood devils, the 3,000 disciples unleashed split the heavens three times. Their three attacks crashed down like three waves slaughtering their opponents and allowing them to quickly block the channel. They had just blocked their channel when Meng Chi and the others also managed to kill their Empyrean winged blood devils and start blocking their channel. Raging flames incinerate the heavens. Golden flames exploded out of Long Chen, covering the space around the channel. The Empyrean winged blood devils had no choice but to fly through the flames. However, these flames were the heaven incinerating flame. Although these Empyrean winged blood devils were on the life star level, meaning it was no longer lethal against them, it didn't mean that it was completely ineffective. At the very least, it blocked their sight. The Empyrean winged blood devils could only charge through blindly. That naturally wasn't as effective. The main thing though was that Long Chen was standing within this flame domain. Evil Moon was in his hand, and its runes began to shine. 
a faint blood-colored light appeared on its edge. Evil Moon was also fighting alongside him. Saber images flew through the air, killing the Empyrean winged blood devils that were blindly charging through. Long Chen's Saber Chi was so sharp that it cut through them like tofu. Evil Moon, you're not bad, praised Long Chen. He hadn't expected Evil Moon, which was clearly a heavy style martial weapon, to be able to unleash such sharp attacks. It seemed he only knew very little about its abilities. Evil Moon was finally in possession of a bit of its own power and could help Long Chen. This bit of help made Long Chen's attacks incredibly powerful. However, this help exhausted its energy, so unless it was an important moment, Evil Moon also wouldn't be willing to do this. It was still sealed, meaning it couldn't recover its energy. Every bit it used up would be gone, and it would be difficult to replenish it. So the reason Evil Moon didn't help much wasn't because it was stingy, but because it had no choice. Long Chen had no need to charge through the channel. If he went any further, the channel's power would suppress him. All he had to do was stand outside it, unleashing a rain of attack that killed any Empyrean winged blood devils that attempted to charge past him. However, as he killed and killed, Long Chen began to feel that something was wrong. The number of Empyrean winged blood devils coming through the main channel was starting to drop. Boom. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from the back, and Long Chen heard some familiar startled cries. Abandoning his channel, he hastily flew out to witness an infuriating sight. Chapter 1708 The Power of the Double Dragon's Translator Born to be at some point, a horde of magical beasts had appeared. They were charging at Long Chen and the others. These magical beasts were all at the 11th rank, equivalent to the human life star realm. However, their offensive power was many times greater than ordinary life star experts. Also, those magical beasts with ancient bloodlines were in possession of their terrifying divine abilities. An army of tens of thousands of magical beasts had now launched a surprise attack, surrounding the Dragonblood Legion and the Heaven Spitting Battle Sect with the threat of the magical beast army behind them. They were no longer able to block the channel. The Empyrean Winged Blood Devils were concentrated on the two side channels at this moment, and now over 10,000 of them had come through. To force them back and block the channel again was essentially impossible now. Fuck. How did these magical beasts get here? Roared Gu Yang. If this was during normal times, he wouldn't even care about these magical beasts. However, at this critical time, they had come to disrupt their tempo. It was a fatal blow. Their souls are being controlled by someone. Someone has gathered them to attack us. Men Chi immediately recognized some clues. These magical beasts were in formation and working together. That wasn't something normal magical beasts did. They had to be controlled by an expert. Furthermore, they even unleashed suicidal attacks immediately, disregarding their own lives. That was why Men Chi was sure that this was another plot. Long Chen's expression was dark. The first wave of magical beasts had already injured some of the Dragonblood warriors. These magical beasts were crazy, and some directly detonated themselves. With the magical beasts behind them and the Empyrean winged blood devils in front of them, the Dragonblood Legion's situation instantly became tense. It wouldn't be long before casualties started to appear. Abandon the channels and retreat. Long Chen immediately gave orders to give up on defending. If they forced it, each second would cost lives. Long Chen was filled with fury inside. This was his first time being schemed against without having the slightest ability to resist. It was infuriating. The Dragonblood Legion and Heaven Splitting Battle Sect immediately banded together, forming a circular formation to block the attacks that were coming from all sides. The magical beasts were completely crazy. They attacked whoever they saw, including the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. As for the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, they also didn't care why the magical beasts had come. They tore through anything in their way. The entire battlefield was chaotic. Meng Chi had her eyes closed while surrounded by people. She suddenly opened her eyes. Long Chen, I've found the culprit. Eliminate him. Long Chen pressed a hand against Meng Qi's back. His spiritual strength poured into her, and through her soul, he saw an elder in a black cloak forming hand seals. That was the person controlling the magical beasts. The elder's expression suddenly changed. He dispelled his spiritual strength. But it was too late. 
the elders had instantly exploded. His soul, including his Yuan spirit, was wiped out of existence. This blood, it was someone from the Xuan beasts. Through Men Qi's soul, Long Chen saw the scene of the elders' head exploding. His expression grew uglier. It was no wonder this person had possessed the ability to control so many magical beasts. Perhaps only the Xuan beasts, the top of the beast races, could do such a thing. Before this, it had been a sneak attack from Heavenly Fate Island, and now it was another sneak attack from the Xuan beasts. The Dragonblood Legion was in danger now. Fortunately, Menki's soul arts were strong enough to track down this person through the souls of the magical beasts he had been controlling. Adding on Long Chen's assistance, she had managed to kill him from afar. However, if it hadn't been for Long Chen's help, she wouldn't have been able to kill that fellow. More and more Empyrean winged blood devils appeared. The magical beasts regained their minds the instant that Elder was slain, and they immediately fled the battlefield. The magical beast army was gone, but there was now a veritable sea of Empyrean winged blood devils around Dragonblood Legion. They were surrounded and more enemies were coming out of the three channels. This was a rare chance for the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, and they were clearly taking advantage of it. Each of them was on the Life Star level, and their power was easily comparable to a Rank 9 Celestial. Even the Dragonblood Warriors and the elites of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect were having great difficulty defending against them. Damn it, if I had known this would happen, I would have kept the Black Water for now. Guo Ran cursed himself. If he had kept some of the black water, perhaps he would have been able to extinguish their current crisis. He was filled with regret. No wonder Long Chen said that he always had to keep a trump card at all times as a life-saving measure. Now Guo Ran could only fight with his two sabers. The thing that made him feel the worst was that he had now fallen to third place. Len Yuian and Dong Mingyu had already surpassed him. However, he didn't cry or complain. At this time, he was probably the only person in the mood to check the Devil Slaughter rankings. Long Chen repeatedly slashed Devil Moon, unleashing waves of saber images that slaughtered the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. Evil Moon was so sharp that even the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils on the Life Star level were unable to resist. However, no matter how fast he killed, he couldn't keep up with the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils that were charging out of the channels. It had just been a few seconds but this entire space had been occupied by them. There was no way to count their numbers. Their numbers were enough to cause despair. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others were fighting all out. However, even their attacks no longer appeared so sharp against these Empyrean winged blood devils. Cloud was in the form of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. She had been crazily devouring them, but toward the end, she had been forced to spit them back out. Even the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, claimed to be able to swallow heaven and earth, had a limit. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, Gu Yang, and the others were already starting to run out of energy. Yu Zifeng in particular had lost the original sharpness of his attacks. He wasn't an Empyrean, and he recovered energy slower than the others. Right now, the only one still in their peak condition was Lu Ruian, with Chu Yao in second. It was the two of them that were blocking the majority of the attacks. Lu Ruian in particular was amazing. She had endless willow branches everywhere, protecting everyone. Without her, everyone would have been forced to endure many more attacks. Fuck. All you bastards. Just wait for me. Long Chen suddenly clenched his teeth. He formed a hand seal, and the roaring of two dragons shook the sky. A black flame dragon and a five-colored lightning dragon appeared coiling around each other. The void around them completely exploded, as if their existences broke the laws of heaven and earth. A sacred aura appeared, one that seemed to shake even the will of the world. These two dragons seemed to be in defiance of the heavens. Bosses' dragons have appeared, but why do they look different from before the dragonblood warriors were familiar with Lai Long and Huo Long, but they had never seen a black flame dragon. As for the lightning dragon, it possessed a hallowed aura to it one that was difficult to resist. It gave them an urge to kneel in reverence. Go. Double dragon destruction Long Chen waved his hand, and the two dragons charged through the Empyrean winged blood devils. The two dragons were 30,000 meters long. They now joined together from head to tail. 
forming a ring around the Dragonblood Legion and Heaven Splitting Battle Sect the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils charging toward them would instantly turn to ash when they struck either Huolong or Lai Long. The current Huolong was not using the power of the Heaven Incinerating Flame. It was using the berserk power of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. Those Empyrean Winged Blood Devils that touched it exploded instantly as if their fuses had been lit. As for Lai Long, it had fully devoured the Divine Lightning from Long Chen's last tribulation and finally possessed the power of Divine Lightning. That kind of power could destroy Heaven and Earth. It was especially effective against the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. Boss is mighty. Cheering rang out. No matter how those Empyrean Winged Blood Devils tried to attack, they were unable to take half a step through the two dragons. The number that tried was the number that died. However, Long Chen's expression was still dark. With Evil Moon on his shoulder, he roared, You idiots hiding in the dark. Come out if you have the gods. No matter what you try, your grandpa Long will crush it. Long Chen's voice echoed through the air, resounding throughout the barren land. Long Chen knew that they were within Heavenly Fate Island's trap. First, one of their people had used some kind of secret art to enlarge the spatial gate, extending it to above ground and allowing life star level devil creatures to pass through. Seeing that Long Chen and the others were still able to block the wave, someone else then brought over magical beasts to attack. This was all perfectly coordinated. It was like this was a chessboard, and the other side still had many moves they could make. The only reason they hadn't made those yet was to see how Long Chen reacted to their previous move, so they could decide on the most effective move to kill him. Each bit of power he exposed right now was giving his enemies more information, information that was being used to attack him more effectively. That was extremely bad for him. The more he exposed, the more dangerous their situation would grow. Long Chen couldn't sense any outsiders in the surroundings. But he knew that everything happening here had to be watched by his enemies. They wouldn't reveal themselves until they were absolutely sure that they could kill Long Chen and the others. If even a portion of them got away, their scheme would be exposed. Hence, they had no choice but to be careful. Long Chen's words were both a provocation as well as intimidation. Long Chen wanted the other side to hesitate. Right now. What he needed most of all was time. Chapter 1709 Divine Art Contract Release Translator Born to be Long Chen Don't get arrogant. Today is the day of your death. Suddenly, space twisted, and dozens of elders appeared in the sky, wearing the robes of the corrupt path. These corrupt experts were all late life star experts based on their powerful auras. Furthermore, each of them was holding a divine item that was unleashing its own immense pressure. An evil air spread from them, enveloping the world in a dark haze. This haze felt so heavy that it was hard to breathe. These were evil and powerful divine items. Long Chen, you slaughtered countless disciples of my corrupt path. Today, you'll die a miserable death. As soon as those elders appeared, dozens of divine items were activated at once, unleashing rays of divine light at Long Chen. These corrupt elders were rather crafty and concentrated their attacks on Long Chen. They completely ignored the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. The Empyrean Winged Blood Devils didn't understand why these people were attacking Long Chen. But they also didn't care. They attacked crazily. Boom. The attack of dozens of divine items sent Long Chen flying. Despite blocking with his full power, he still coughed up a mouthful of blood. However, it was the corrupt experts that were stunned. For Long Chen to only cough up a mouthful of blood after all their attacks landed, that was far from what they had expected. They had thought that he would be at least heavily injured. Long Chen was infuriated. These were quasi-divine items, the weakest of all divine items. However, their divine power was still extremely powerful. According to reason, having multiple divine items work together like this was extremely difficult. Each of their fluctuations would interfere with the others. Their power was so great that they would cause the surrounding space to crumble, resulting in them interfering with each other's attacks. That wasn't the case here. These people had attacked so smoothly, so they had to have spent a great deal of time training to achieve such a thing. Clearly, this was a specially prepared trap. Perhaps it was a trap that they had been preparing for a long time to have trained to this extent, to be able to make such precise predictions. Perhaps only Heavenly Fate Island was capable of it. Attack again. 
shouted one of the corrupt experts. The second wave of attacks immediately shot toward Long Chen while he was still injured. Die. However, just at this moment, Guo Ran let out a furious roar. All the Dragonblood warriors' armor began to shine. The armor of over 12,000 warriors formed a giant formation. Light congregated around Guo Ran, and he crossed his dual sabers. Dragonblood cross slash. A huge X slashed toward the corrupt experts. Not good. Those corrupt experts were stunned and hastily blocked. But this attack was extremely fast. The huge X instantly killed seven of them. Their attention had been focused entirely on Long Chen because other than Long Chen, no one else in the Dragonblood Legion possessed a divine item. However, this overconfidence had led to their doom. After this one attack, all the Dragonblood warriors' armor dimmed, and the warriors were slightly pale. That one attack had taken a large amount of their spiritual yuan. Taking advantage of this, Long Chen flew back, slashing with his saber. One of the corrupt experts was slain, his divine item exploding along with him. Don't let your formation get chaotic, brothers of the battle sect. I'll have to trouble you. Long Chen started attacking the other corrupt experts. His divine ring and five-star battle armor were both activated. The Dragonblood Cross Slash was the strongest combination attack of the Dragonblood Warrior. However, it wasn't a powerful area attack. All its power was concentrated in the center of the cross. Of course, that was also why their power was enough to slay even these powerful corrupt experts with their divine items. This move's power was practically heaven-defying. However, it had sucked away the majority of their spiritual yuan as well. They were only able to unleash this attack once. The Dragonblood Legion's combat power dropped immensely after this one attack. So Long Chen needed Bao Buping and the others to make up for it. Although Lai Long and Huo Long were blocking the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, they were still coming from the sky. With Evil Moon in his hand, those quasi divine items were nothing to Long Chen, leaving the army to Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others to protect. He charged at the corrupt experts. Stop him. One of the corrupt experts had just roared when Long Chen's figure vanished like a ghost. The Black Evil Moon was like the Grim Reaper's life reaping scythe. Even when that expert blocked with his full power, his divine item was broken and he was killed. Fuck. His saber is definitely on the half-step divine item level. But how can he activate the power of a half-step divine item? The corrupt experts were unable to believe that their quasi-divine items were being broken so easily. Only a half-step divine item at full power could do such a thing. However, those capable of unleashing the full power of a half-step divine item were at least at the Nether Passage realm. Without that level of control, there wasn't that much difference between a quasi-divine item and a half-step divine item's power. Despite that, Long Chen, a soul transformation disciple, was destroying their quasi-divine items so easily. Each slash of his saber seemed ordinary. Yet each slash was so powerful. Evil Moon's aura completely sealed any paths of retreat for these corrupt experts. So they could only face it head on. Trying to dodge only increased the speed at which they would die. While resisting won them an extra eye blink of life. It wasn't able to change the result. These corrupt experts had managed to injure Long Chen with their combination attack at the start. However. The World Tree's life energy had managed to instantly heal him without affecting his combat power. On the other hand, the corrupt experts were in disorder after the Dragonblood Cross Slash. Long Chen had then taken advantage of that to charge into their midst and cause more chaos. Their divine items were being broken one by one. They could almost hear the mournful cries of their divine items as they were destroyed. Is this boss's power? He kills life star experts with divine items like their dogs. The Dragonblood Warriors watched as Long Chen dominated the corrupt experts. Flashing lightning runes surrounded the area around him. Any target he locked onto wouldn't even have a chance to run. No matter how they roared, they couldn't escape their fate of being killed. Long Chen was truly infuriated. These people were too despicable to attack them at such a moment. If the Dragonblood Warriors weren't able to defend the channel, the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils would charge onto the continent. Who knew how many innocent lives they would take? Those were lives. Yet in front of the condescending Heavenly Fate Island, it seemed that they had no value at all. If they had the ability, then they could charge at him directly and he would accompany them. However, 
they had decided to throw all those innocent lives into danger. Long Chen might not be afraid of death, but he still respected life. He couldn't accept their despicable actions. Everyone, scatter. Long Chen had killed six of the corrupt experts without any of them being able to react. The person who gave the order to scatter was quickly cut down after shouting. He was cut in two along with his blood-colored halberd. The faint lightning runes in the air allowed Long Chen to come and go like a flash. The corrupt experts' divine items were evil, and there was no way Long Chen could use them, so he made sure not to let them off. Boom. Evil Moon stabbed through an elder's back, also stabbing through the hook he held. However, that hook exploded. The corrupt expert had ordered his divine item to explode right as he died. The detonation of a divine item possessed terrifying power. Long Chen was at the core of the explosion, and he was instantly blown into the distance. Heaven raising willow branches. Lu Ruian summoned giant willow branches above the dragon blood warriors' heads. Despite that, the power of a divine item's explosion was immense. It struck the shield like a mountain, blowing it apart. The impact continued to strike the dragon blood warriors. The immense power caused the ground beneath them to sink. The dragon blood warriors all coughed up blood. Some fainted from the impact. Everyone, attack. Long Chen, don't you care about your people? Then let's see how you act when your brothers die right in front of you, shouted one of the corrupt elders. Boom. Another divine item exploded. Although Long Chen activated the celestial lightning body blink, he only had time to kill that elder. He was still one step too late in stopping his divine item from exploding. This time, Lu Ruian, Chu Yao, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan defended together. Wooden and earthen shields combined, blocking the divine item's explosion. However, the four of them coughed up a mouthful of blood right after that. Detonating a divine item was definitely the most scoundrel-like method of fighting. It fully released all the energy of the divine item and was not limited by the master's power. The other corrupt experts saw this and seemed to go cray. They actually ignited all their divine items together. The detonation of over 10 divine items was incoming. Long Chen, we don't mind dying with you. Ha ha ha. The corrupt experts laughed crazily. When so many divine items exploded together, their power could destroy heaven and earth. There wouldn't be a single person alive within tens of thousands of miles. Divine art. Contract released just as Long Chen was powerless to stop them. A clear voice rang out. Chapter 1710 Devil Slaughter Rank Translator. Born to be the divine items of those corrupt experts had been blazing with light. On the verge of exploding with their divine power. However, following that voice, a majestic divine pressure filled the world. It was like a god's blessing had descended. Those divine items exploding auras were suppressed. The corrupt experts' expressions completely changed as they found that their divine items had been released from their spiritual contracts. Those divine items became turncoats, killing their own masters. They pierced through their heads and transformed into rays of light that vanished into the sky. What Long Chen and the others were stunned. Then, they saw a graceful and slender woman in the sky. The woman wore a veil that covered her face, but just her eyes were so beautiful that they looked like they could cleanse the world. Being looked at by her would make a person's heartbeat quicken involuntarily. Xiao Long Chen let out a startled cry. Don't talk. Act like you don't know me. I'll help you. That woman interrupted him with a spiritual message. Suddenly, light began to shine from her forehead, and a divine aura spread. An immortal character appeared on her forehead. Devil. When that devil character appeared, the world rumbled. Immortal light spread, illuminating the entire battlefield. Those Empyrean winged blood devils immediately let out howls of pain. Under the illumination of the immortal light, their bodies began to stiffen. Their flesh even began to bubble as if this immortal light was their bane. Quick, kill them all in one go. I can only hold them for a single breath's time, said the woman. Long Chen nodded. To Li Qi and Song Mingyuan, he said. Go underground with everyone. As deep as possible Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had no idea who this woman was. But hearing this order, they knew that Long Chen was about to unleash a big move. They didn't dare to tarry. The ground instantly sank, bringing everyone away. More earth flowed over, covering the area that had sunk. Double dragon destruction Long Chen formed a hand seal. Lai Long and Huo Long returned to him, 
intertwining. They then slammed into the ground. Boom. Flames and lightning spread in every direction, devouring the entire battlefield. Anything touched by the flame and lightning energy was turned into nothingness. The Empyrean winged blood devils had been eradicated. When the dust settled, Long Chen was floating in the air, panting. The battlefield had been completely emptied. Even the three spatial channels were empty. This attack's power and range was so great that it had even charged through the three channels and wiped away the enemies there as well. The only one left was Long Chen. The veiled woman had vanished. The ground split open and countless willow branches shot out. The undying willow was the first to come out, followed by Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and the others Novaloon.com when they saw that the battlefield was empty. They were stunned. Look, I, Long Chen, am exhausted. Do any of you godless idiots dare to come and fight? Long Chen shouted into the air. His voice was backed by his spiritual yuan and was as loud as lightning. His voice echoed through the air, but no one else responded. Everything was silent. At this time, on the other side of the spatial channels, more Empyrean winged blood devils appeared. However, they simply stared in shock at Long Chen not daring to charge through. Suddenly, the void exploded and a huge object appeared in front of them. The dragon blood warriors and the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples sighed with relief. The lofty Zhuanshan tower had come, and it slowly landed on the ground. The patriarch flew out. When he saw the battlefield, even he gasped. This scene was too shocking. There's no need to shout. They've already run. It's been hard on you. The patriarch walked over to Long Chen. It wasn't too bad. If you hadn't personally come, perhaps they would have attacked. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He didn't know how those people had hidden themselves, but he was 100% sure that they had been lying in wait for an opportunity. The reason they hadn't taken action was because they weren't confident in killing him. One reason was because they didn't want to give Long Chen any evidence he could use against them. After all, Long Chen had no concrete evidence to say that someone from Heavenly Fate Island had been the one to sabotage him, even if he recognized that ruler. So what? Ruler-type weapons might be rare, but it wasn't as if there were none. Using a single ruler to prove that the culprit was Heavenly Fate Island was far from enough. Heavenly Fate Island could easily deny his accusations and even mock him. If someone with a similar weapon to Long Chen killed someone, was that enough for them to accuse him as the killer? Heavenly Fate Island hadn't left anything for Long Chen to use against them. Even knowing it was done by them, he couldn't do anything. As for the corrupt path, they were already enemies with the righteous path. Mortal enemies could use any means necessary against each other. So Long Chen had nothing he could use against them. However, his shouting had scared away his opponents. They had no assurance in being able to kill him. Even if they killed the dragon blood warriors and the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples, if Long Chen escaped, he would become their nightmare. Someone with nothing left to lose was the most worrisome. His shouting had been part of a psychological battle. He was telling them that he was confident. At the very least, this attitude made them feel worried that Long Chen had another trump card that could allow him to escape. Was the Dao sect struck by a sneak attack? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Three top experts of the corrupt path attacked at the same time. Fortunately, the Grand Formation plus the Zhuanshan Tower are linked, and we were able to heavily injure those top experts. Li Xiangxuan knew that you were in trouble at that time. Those experts were at the Nether Passage realm, but Li Xiangxuan was smart. He acted weak to lure them in and then suddenly activated the formation, managing to kill one of them. The others immediately fled. We managed to heavily injure them before having a chance to come and save you. It's a good thing you were strong enough to last until now. This was a seamless scheme, sighed the Patriarch. The Patriarch felt that he himself had gotten old. He couldn't keep up with the Junior Generation. Of course, to him, the Junior Generation included Li Xiangxuan. Being in the Dao sect, Li Xiangxuan had immediately realized that this attack was only a diversion. Their target wasn't the Dao sect but Long Chen. Nevertheless, Long Chen's own intelligence also wasn't inferior to Li Xiangxuan's, and he was powerful. The Patriarch couldn't help but feel that other than his cultivation base, he had no other use. Just at this moment, 
Countless runes within the spatial gate crumbled. It slowly closed. In just a few breaths, the huge gate completely closed, and the world returned to calm. If there wasn't such a wrecked battlefield, it would seem like nothing had happened. According to reason, the spatial gate had been stable enough to last for several more hours. However, this capital gate was the result of Heavenly Fate Island sacrificing some kind of unknown pagoda to forcibly prop it open. Clearly, that pagoda's energy had run out, resulting in the gate quickly closing on its own. How is the Dao sect? asked Long Chen. Tidy up the battlefield. We can discuss it when we're back. The patriarch didn't directly reply. Lu Ruiyan swept through the entire battlefield before they all entered the Zhuanshan Tower and flew back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect inside the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen counted the survivors and then sighed with relief. Although over 2100 people had been injured, with 1517 being seriously injured, no one had died in the Dragonblood Legion. The serious injuries were the result of the corrupt experts detonating their divine items. Those explosions contained their divine power and that had invaded people's Yuan spirits. As it was more difficult to deal with, it would take some time to heal. Long Chen sighed with relief. Fortunately, he had brought back blood soul stones from the netherworld, that had strengthened everyone's Yuan spirits. Otherwise, the ordinary dragonblood warriors might have all died from those immense explosions of divine power. Heavenly Fate Island scheming was truly seamless. Each of his steps had been within their calculations. If others hadn't helped, the entire Dragonblood Legion might have died on this battlefield. Long Chen, was that person Ziaokian? Messaged Meng Chi. Yes, it was her. However, don't tell anyone else. Keep everything about her secret, replied Long Chen. Long Chen had never expected Yu Ziaokian to suddenly appear at this time. Furthermore, at that critical moment, she had helped him annihilate the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. Although she had immediately vanished afterward, her help had decided the fate of the Dragonblood Legion. If those divine items had exploded amongst them, the results were unthinkable. I actually fell to seventh place. However, at least I'm in the top ten. Ha ha ha. The name of Guo Ran will definitely spread through the world. Guo Ran suddenly thought of the Devil Slaughter rankings and checked his rank. He then laughed delightedly. Look at boss's rank. With the battle over. Everyone finally had time to check the Devil Slaughter Rankings. Chapter 1711 Xiang Yunfei's Provocation Translator Born to be boss's first place. Ha ha ha. Everyone looked at the Devil Slaughter Rankings to see Long Chen's name at the top. His name was completely different from others. It was a dazzling rainbow color. Originally, Long Chen's name had already fallen to who knew where. Although he had taken first place several times. Those times had always been short-lived. Even once he had defended the main channel himself. Although he had gotten many kills. When compared to the monstrous existences at the top of the Devil Slaughter rankings. He hadn't gotten that many points. Moreover. The Empyrean Winged Blood Devils had seen how great his offensive power was. And so they had focused their forces on the other two channels. Hence. Even at that time. Long Chen's ranking hadn't been high. In truth. The only time he had truly slaughtered a huge number of Empyrean Winged Blood Devils was at the very end with his double dragon destruction. With Yu Ziaokian's help, those Empyrean Winged Blood Devils had been unable to move and defend, resulting in all of them dying. Seeing that Long Chen ranked first, everyone cheered. The Devil Slaughter rankings had brought out the supreme geniuses of the Martial Heaven continent. For Long Chen to take first, the Dragon Blood Legion's name would truly shake the world. This was the entire Dragonblood Legion's glory. Look at the other people's rankings. After a moment of excitement for Long Chen, they finally continued looking at other rankings. Tenth place was the representative of Pill Valley, the Pill Fairy. She had 963 kill points, which really represented 963 trillion. That was because after reaching 1 trillion points, your points would instead be shown according to how many trillions you had. The Pill Fairy was an alchemist. Fighting was not her forte. Yet she had managed to kill her way into the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings. Ninth place was from the Northern Xuan region. Yi's Hikyu. She had 984 kill points. Just a bit more than the Pill Fairy. However, 
the pill fairy had a powerful divine item, the Danite furnace. For Yi's Hikyu to surpass the pill fairy meant she had to not only have shocking combat power, but also a divine item of her own. In eighth place was the ancient racist Xiang Yunfei. He had 1067 kill points. He was clearly a top expert that the ancient races had sent to win them glory. Not only was he strong himself, but he had to have powerful trump cards. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent him. Powers like the ancient races, the corrupt path, the blood kill hall, and the Xuan beasts were not allied with the righteous path. They would normally only send one or two top experts to fight for the top places of the devil slaughter rankings. If they sent more, that would be helping the righteous path, when in reality, they were fighting for themselves. They didn't care about the righteous path or if the devil creatures charged onto the surface. That was why the representatives that they sent would always be experts amongst experts. People they were confident in when it came to getting in the top 10. So it was natural that someone from the ancient races would take 8th place. 7th place was Guo Ran. He also had 1067 kill points. But his ranking was above Xiang Yunfei's. With each kill point representing 1 trillion points. It was unknown whether they were only a few hundred apart or a few billion. In any case, Xiang Yunfei was simply unlucky. Guo Ran blessed his luck inside. Originally, his kill points had been stuck at 835 when he had run out of the black water, and that was not high enough to get into the top 10. However, he had managed to gain more points toward the end when the Dragon Blood Legion had moved to defend one of the side channels. At that time, the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils had been charging out, and blocking them had been difficult. Guo Ran had panicked. He had taken out all his exploding arrows and shot them using his Army Breaker Divine Crossbow. In just a dozen breaths time, he had launched 160,000 arrows. That kind of shooting speed was not what the Army Breaker Divine Crossbow had been designed for. In the end, its runes had crumbled, making it unusable. However, that one crazy burst had slaughtered the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils that had charged out. No one had been in the mood to check how many points a life star level Empyrean Winged Blood Devil was worth. But in any case, he had managed to muddle his way into 7th place. 6th place was Hu Fang. His ranking had always been tumultuous, but he had ended in 6th place with 1188 kill points. When they saw the kill points that 5th place, Mo Nian, had, everyone couldn't help but gasp 6666. He had 6 times the points of Hu Fang. 4th place was from the Xuan Beasts. True Immortal Jiaoki with 6,781 kill points. Mo Nian was just a bit below him. It was a pity he hadn't managed to surpass him. Third place was Dong Mingyu from the Blood Kill Hall. When they saw her kill points, everyone jumped in shock 18,543 kill points. That was almost three times greater than Mo Nian and true immortal Jiaoki. As for second place, Len Yuian had 19,895 kill points. Suppressing Dong Mingyu. What? Where are bosses' kill points? Everyone was comparing the kill points of these experts. Before this, they had just been checking the rankings, but now that they were paying attention, their jaws dropped when they saw Long Chen's kill points. There was no number, it was just a blood colored line, and they didn't know what that meant. Could it be? Maxed out, everyone's hearts pounded. Long Chen's number had vanished. That was probably something that would only happen when he had maxed out, or there was no way to calculate how many he had killed. Just at this moment, the jade plate in Guo Ran's hand with the devil slaughter rankings on it shook slightly. A design appeared on it, one that looked like a blank piece of paper. Guo Ran was dumbfounded, but just at this moment, the same thing appeared on Long Chen's jade plate. This is a special reward given only to the top 10 of the devil slaughter rankings. You have the right to leave behind some words for future generations. Take out a drop of your essence blood and you can write whatever you want to write. These words will be forever imprinted on the devil slaughter rankings. Furthermore, your words will appear on the main palaces of all the major powers on the continent for 10 days. It's a chance to shake the entire continent, said the patriarch. Even the patriarch couldn't help but feel emotional. 
Two of the top ten on the Devil Slaughter rankings came from his Zhuanshan Dao sect. This kind of glory made it so he couldn't stay calm. Haha, <laughs> there's such a good thing? What should I say? Well, it doesn't matter because Boss will definitely write something even mightier and grander. Guo Ran laughed and scribbled away on his jade plate. In just a short while, everyone's jade plates quivered. The experts have all left behind their words. Everyone quickly looked at what had been written. The first words came from the pill fairy. I hope the world will have no more slaughter, no more sorrow, and no more pain. We can live peacefully and happily. Seeing that, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others felt emotional. The pill fairy's words were very simple. Yet it showed her dislike of fighting and how she yearned for there to be peace. It was the men who felt so competitive and aggressive that they wanted more fighting. They thirsted for power. To use that power to take. To kill. As if that was the only way to prove that they were strong. After they took. After they killed. Others could only bitterly endure. Satisfying these so-called experts need for glory. Even if they beat you. You had to endure. If you didn't. They would kill you. Battle created the strong, but it was unknown how many unknown people were brought to pain because of that battle. However, in this world where the weak were prey to the strong, being strong was the truth. Even if you disliked it, you had to endure it if you wanted to live. The pill fairy's words touched all their hearts, especially the women's. Unfortunately, they all knew that this was just a beautiful dream. Unless someone grew so strong that they could overturn this whole world and establish a new order. It was just a fantasy. Seeing those words, Meng Qi and the others all felt that the pill fairy was the same kind of person as them. Ninth place's words then appeared. Yi's Hikia was the same as before, and she barely said anything. I'm waiting for you. Others might not know what that meant, but Long Chen and the others did. They were also full of anticipation for Yi's Hikia's return. Xiang Yanfei left a message that was beyond arrogant. Long Chen. You only relied on external power or some shameful method to take first place. The human race really is despicable. The dragon blood warriors were enraged, with Guo Ran furiously saying, Fuck your mother, I should have sent my entry in later. I'd directly kill you with my words, you ancient race bastard. Unfortunately, Guo Ran had already submitted his message, and each person only had one chance. It couldn't be changed. Guo Ran almost crushed his jade tablet in his fury. This ancient race idiot was really hateful. The dragon blood legion had gone through so much to obtain their current accomplishments. Yet this person wildly guessed that they were cheating. Don't be so angry. To use the boss's words. If you can fight, don't waste time with words. The ancient races have suffered so many times at our boss's hands. But it seems they don't have a good memory. We'll make sure they remember it next time said Gu Yang. Only then did Guo Ran feel a bit better. When the dragon blood warriors looked at the words that he had written, they couldn't help feeling a bit moved. The dragon blood warriors are closer than blood. Brothers, we will fight through heaven and earth, leaving behind a name that will last through eternity. Everyone knew that Guo Ran liked to show off. It was practically his life. They had thought that he would write something to that effect, but unexpectedly, he didn't even mention his own name. Instead choosing to represent the entire Dragon Blood Legion and their brotherly emotions, Long Chen smiled. Guo Ran's display today was not bad. Although he liked showing off, at least he had some propriety. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on making Guo Ran get the first place. Everything had been going according to plan until they had been sabotaged. As a result, Guo Ran had fallen from first place to seventh place. Hu Feng has finished as well. Just at this moment, everyone saw Hu Feng's words. Ancient race idiot. Do you think you were born from a stone? Without the human race. Where do you think you'd have come from? Do you think you're so powerful that you don't even need to acknowledge your ancestors? Chapter 1712 Original Heart Translator. Born to be well said. The dragon blood warriors all gave Hu Feng's words a thumbs up. This Hu Feng was fairly amazing. There was no prefix to his name. That meant he was a rogue cultivator. For a rogue cultivator to get into the top 10 was definitely difficult. But more amazing than that was that he dared to talk back to the ancient races as a rogue cultivator. For him to say such a thing, Hu Feng was definitely from the human race and disliked the ancient race's arrogance. 
As for that Xiang Yanfei of the ancient races, he really was an idiot. Saying something like that was offending all humans. Hu Feng's words had just appeared when Mo Nian's message followed. I heard the ancient races had quite a few powerful figures throughout their history. Just wait. Once your grandpa Mo is done over here, I'll go have a stroll through your ancestral tombs as well. Seeing those words, everyone's expression became a bit odd. Is Mo Nian a Gravaraber now? What is he doing going through other people's ancestral tombs? Gu Yang was speechless. It really isn't clear. The rumors say that this little fellow has appeared in the eastern, western, southern, northern, and central Xuan regions during the past few years. It's only recently that he settled in the western Xuan region. Apparently, his stay in the western Xuan region is like a calamity for the western ancient families, as many of their ancestral tombs were excavated by him. Some say it's revenge, while some say he's stealing their karmic luck to strengthen himself. Others say that he is destroying their feng shui with the intent of severing their ancestral line. However, Mo Nian himself has never said the real reason, so no one knows what he's doing. Long Chen shook his head. He had had Zheng Wenlong investigate what was going on with Mo Nian, but Mo Nian had been too secretive during these past few years. No one knew his goal. However, a few details had been confirmed. Mo Nian had two peerless skills. One was gravitating while the other was fleeing for his life. The entire ancient family alliance was after him, and they had offered a high reward for his capture, but he was still living happily. That could be called a miracle. Mo Nian's name was known to everyone in the western Xuan region. His fame was about the same level as Long Chen's in the eastern Xuan region. Even when it came to the central plains as a whole, they were famous figures. Mo Nian's words were also targeted toward the ancient races. That Xiang Yanfei had offended all humans. Fourth place's words quickly appeared as well. True immortal Jiaoki's message was, Long Chen, don't be too arrogant. Next time we meet, I will personally take your head. It was yet another provocation. The fact that Long Chen had killed Hu Shaolin in the Grand Han had angered the Xuan beasts. This matter had been suppressed by Ku Jinying, but that didn't represent that the Xuan beasts were willing to swallow this anger. They were just waiting for their chance. This true immortal Jiaoki is asking for it. Gu Yang was also enraged now. The ancient races and the Xuan beasts were provoking them. Ignore him. Next time we meet, we'll directly beat him and turn him into a stew for everyone. Long Chen flapped his hand indifferently. Hearing that, everyone laughed. They knew Long Chen was also angered by these provocations. If Long Chen found him, that true immortal Jiaoki wouldn't have a good ending. Dong Mingyu also left behind two words, original heart. These two words were short and unclear. No one knew what they meant. Long Chen felt a slightly familiar feeling from these two words, but he didn't understand what they meant. Len Yuian's words followed. There's nothing to say. It was also a very willful message. The patriarch couldn't help but shake his head, feeling like he had truly grown old. In the past, the messages of the top 10 were always about expressing their feelings or heroism. But today's geniuses didn't seem to treat this chance to have their name shake the entire continent as anything important. Long Chen's words also appeared. When they saw those words, everyone let out a startled cry. Idiots from Heavenly Fate Island, just wait for me. If I don't beat the piss out of you, you can count yourselves tough. Long Chen had actually used this chance to directly challenge Heavenly Fate Island. Boss is mighty. Boss is domineering. Boss is mighty and domineering. The Dragon Blood Warriors laughed. Heavenly Fate Island had sabotaged them, almost causing their deaths. Long Chen's words were very satisfying. This is the Devil Slaughter rankings. You're, you're treating it too indifferently. The Patriarch was speechless. Long Chen was actually using the Devil Slaughter rankings to challenge Heavenly Fate Island? That was childish. It could be imagined how Long Chen's words were now seen by every major power on the Martial Heaven continent. This would cause huge waves that even the Patriarch was unable to predict. Everyone would see this. Furthermore, these words would stay within every large sect for 10 days. The Central Plains were about to be shaken. However, after bitterly smiling, he didn't say anything more. The current world was no longer his era. It belonged to his juniors. He had already decided to let go of control. 
allowing Li Xiangxuan and Long Chen to mess around as they pleased. Long Chen looked outside the top 10 to see that 11th place was Zi Yan. That surprised him a bit. He had a feeling that Zi Yan had not used her full power. Others might be unaware of her power, but he knew that once Zi Yan activated the 7 string C suppressing zither, her sound waves would be a terrifying area attack. She definitely had the power to get into the top 10. However, thinking of her character and how she didn't like to compete, she should have intentionally let others get ahead of her. Chu Yao was ranked 37th. This was also an amazing accomplishment. In truth, Chu Yao possessed the power to compete for the top 10. Either Chu Yao or Lu Ruiyan would have immense killing power and area attacks if they were fighting alone. Furthermore, they had immense spiritual yuan and life energy. However, they had fought with everyone else rather than being solitary heroes. Their wide range and flexibility meant that they were the strongest shield protecting the Dragonblood Legion. That was why the majority of the time, they had been focused on defense. Despite that, they were still able to get such a high ranking on the Devil Slaughter rankings. That was a testament to their power. Tang Wan'er was ranked 63rd. When it came to offensive power, her wind blades were extremely sharp. However, she lacked endurance. Tang Wan'er could explode with power, but she couldn't maintain that for too long, at least not compared to wood and earth cultivators. Furthermore, her power had only explosively grown recently, and she was not fully adapted to it, so her attacks were still a bit wasteful. By the time the spatial gate had been forced wider, everyone had been running out of energy. Tang Wan'er had been almost out of spiritual yuan, so she hadn't been able to kill that many life star level Empyrean winged blood devils. If she had still had some energy left at the end, she would also have a ranking as high as Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan also had decent rankings. Just outside the top hundred, they all had immense power, but as the core of the Dragonblood Legion, they hadn't been able to fight alone, causing their ranking to drop. Yu Zifeng's rank was outside the top 100. After all, he had no divine item, no heavenly Tao energy, and no manifestation. Using an ordinary sword, he had still managed to reach this level. No one else on the Devil Slaughter ranking was capable of such a thing, so this accomplishment was worth being proud of. As for Gu Yang, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to even look. Gu Yang had had to rely on swinging a single spear to get points. That was too pitiful. Gu Yang's combat style was only good for one against one fights. Long Chen intentionally looked for Di Xin, only to find that he hadn't even gotten in the top 500. Clearly, he had been completely flung aside toward the end. That was because at the end, it had mostly been a competition of divine items. With the channel slowly closing, all the experts had exploded with power. That was the best moment to climb. However, Long Chen was confident that Di Xin did not have a divine item, or if he did, he didn't have one that suited him. Even if he was Di Long's son and Di Long could find him another divine item, Di Xin was a water attribute cultivator, and his new divine item might not suit his nature. Furthermore, even if he had obtained a suitable divine item, wanting to gain its approval in such a short time was very difficult. For him to be able to unleash its power wasn't very likely. The illustrious son of the leader of the ancient family alliance didn't even manage to get in the top 500. It would have been better if he hadn't attended at all. At least, it wouldn't have been so embarrassing. If Long Chen were Di Xin, he wouldn't have attended. But Di Xin's head really was special. After searching a long time, Long Chen managed to see Xia Chen's name in the 800s. He couldn't understand how someone who had been first place could fall to this position. Continuing down, he saw Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and other names. Although they had only appeared for a short while, the ones that they had killed were the Life Star level Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, that allowed them to get into the top thousand. It went without saying that when Split the Heavens was merged, it was truly vicious. Looking through the top thousand experts, Long Chen saw that 60% of them came from the central Xuan region. When he looked at the top 500 alone, he saw that 80% were Central Xuan region's experts. Their foundation was truly something that the other four regions couldn't compare to. In any case, Long Chen had managed to complete his mission with flying colors. 
the Zhuangshan Dao sect alone had blocked the entire eastern Xuan region's Devil Abyss. Although the Devil creatures had appeared above ground at the end, they had all been slain. No innocent commoners were killed. Long Chen and Guo Ran had gotten into the top ten, with Long Chen even taking the top spot. They had definitely won Kujianying some face this time. The Zhuangshan Tower quickly flew, and they arrived at the Zhuangshan Dao sect in a short while. When Long Chen saw the current state of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, his expression immediately became ugly. The dragon blood warriors were filled with killing intent. These bastards really deserve to die. Chapter 1713 Being Surrounded Translator Born to be what infuriated Long Chen and the others was that the Zhuangshan Dao sect, whose construction had almost been completed, was now in ruins. The soaring pavilions and unending mountain range had been destroyed. There's no need to be so angry. As a leader, you can't always let your emotions affect you over some minor things. It will affect your judgment. Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out, and he walked out of the mountain gate. All the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples walked out along with him, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. When they saw Long Chen and the others return safe and well, these disciples' eyes brimmed with tears of excitement. They had thought that they would never see them again. When they returned to make their report of what had happened, they found that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had met a surprise attack from the corrupt path. At that time, when those corrupt experts retreated, they had said to wait for Long Chen's corpse. Those disciples had turned cold. They knew that the target of these experts was Long Chen. Now seeing that he was alive, they all cheered emotionally. After fighting together for over two months, their bonds had been reforged with blood, as well as the sacrifices of many lives. These kinds of bonds could only be understood by them. Long Chen was also extremely moved to see these disciples' emotions. He cupped his fists toward them. Li Xiangxuan was still as calm as ever, as if he couldn't see the damage to the Zhuangshan Dao sect he patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Good job. You've won face for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Eastern Xuan region, and the Martial Heaven continent what face? It seems more like we lost all our face this time. It's my first being beaten so miserably by someone's schemes. If it weren't for uh, I won't say it. It's too infuriating. Long Chen clenched his teeth. This time had been truly dangerous. It made an alarm go off in Long Chen's head. Being targeted by Heavenly Fate Island meant he would have to be especially careful in the future. We were just about to finish the construction of the sect. And those bastards destroyed it all. Fuck. Let's charge into the corrupt path right now and kill them all. Rage Gu Yang. Li Xiangxuan smiled. What you're seeing is just some superficial damage. The foundation of the Dao sect isn't harmed. Actually, this was all done deliberately by me. Let's go. We can talk inside. Li Xiangxuan led them inside while the disciples cheered. Deliberately? You mean? Asked Long Chen. If I didn't do this, how do you think I could trick the corrupt path's three devil kings? How else do you think I could cripple one of them? The damage to the surface is rather bad but the foundation is fine and the formation is undamaged. The formation diagram that Xia Chen sent us is even stronger than we expected. It supports the Zhuangshan Tower, giving it enough power to almost kill one of the Devil Kings. We destroyed his physical body, and while he got away in the end, his Yuan spirit is essentially crippled. He was on death's door when he fled. Crippling one of the three great devil kings of the corrupt path will win us a giant reward from the Martial Heaven Alliance, which is more than enough to make up for this damage. Most importantly, we managed to show our power, and no one will be able to shake our position as overlord of the Eastern Xuan region. Those rumors that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is an empty shell have all collapsed. As for you, Long Chen, you managed to get first place on the devil slaughter rankings. It can be said that the Zhuangshan Dao sect's glory has surpassed all previous generations toward the end. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch's eyes were filled with pride. This was an indescribable glory. As the sect leaders of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they had had a mission to revive the sect's glory. Now, that had been made reality during their time. They couldn't suppress their pride. They all told me what happened. You did very well this time. Even if I was personally leading. I wouldn't have been able to do any better Li Xiangxuan patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Li Xiangxuan didn't specialize in fighting. 
He specialized in control and planning. In the Devil Abyss, Long Chen had led his troops steadily, without any trace of the carelessness of youth. During the battle between heavenly geniuses fighting for first, Long Chen hadn't shown any competitiveness. He had given orders based on the big picture. That was the style of a general. Xuan Master, if I didn't know you better, I'd think you were being ironic. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Just as they were speaking, they arrived at the core of the Zhuanshan Dao sect only now did everyone see that while the damage looked terrible from the outside, it wasn't actually that bad. The broken mountain ranges were deliberate. As long as the formation was activated, they would be restored. The broken buildings only had their top floors damaged. Their foundation hadn't been rattled at all. Upon returning to the Dao sect, the disciples that had fought returned to their residences to rest. Healing experts had already examined all of them to see if there were any hidden injuries. Hidden injuries were the worst because they weren't sensed at the time. And if they weren't healed soon enough, they would flare up at the worst of times or gravely affect your cultivation speed without you being aware. The Dragonblood Warriors returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. This battle had been hard on them. The explosion of divine items at the end had shaken all their Yuan spirits. Some of them were injured, and healing injuries to the Yuan spirit would take a long time. Long Chen urged Bao Buping and Chang Hao to stay for a while, only for the two of them to say that they had to leave immediately. The Netherworld's mark on the old man's head was starting to grow faint, meaning that he was currently at a critical juncture. Boss Bao and the others were defending him and didn't dare to leave. Hence, Bao Buping and the others had to return to their home. The sudden sneak attacks during this battle had made Bao Buping and Chang Hao mature a great deal. They were no longer as careless before. Even Long Chen, with his intelligence, had almost been killed by the scheming of others. That gave them a great sense of danger. If someone attacked the heaven-splitting battle sect at this time, it would be troublesome. Bao Buping and Chang Hao left with their disciples through one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's transportation formations. They agreed that once the old man woke up, they would properly celebrate. After sending them all off, Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan, and the patriarch returned to the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen narrated what had happened this time. Xuan Master, didn't you say that Heavenly Fate Island would not be able to calculate anything about me? But this time. Their trap was seamless, and I almost died. Long Chen couldn't understand. It was because Li Xiangxuan had guaranteed that Heavenly Fate Island couldn't read his fate that he hadn't cared about them. They are definitely unable to calculate anything about you. However, they can try to read the fate of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples, the Eastern Xuan region's karmic luck, or even the disciples that you led inside. These are all their chess pieces. By reading the fate of multiple chess pieces from multiple angles, they can calculate your path. Their fates are all intertwined with yours. But in order to do this, I'm sure Heavenly Fate Island had to pay a heavy price. To calculate so much that affects so many geniuses and powers would take a huge amount of manpower and resources. As for the pagoda that they sacrificed, its name is the Space Splitting Pagoda. It is a special divine item used to travel across planes and its value is on par with half-step divine items. I really didn't expect Heavenly Fate Island to go so crazy as to waste so much effort to kill you. Unfortunately for them, the calculations of man are not as great as the calculations of the heavens. They have interfered with the Heavenly Deus and will sooner or later meet a miserable end. With his final sentence, Li Xiangxuan's mouth twisted into a disdainful sneer. Before this, he had thought that Heavenly Fate Island was a sacred land. They achieved enlightenment of mysteries known only to the heavens. They were transcendent. Xuan Jizi was an outcast. Someone who Heavenly Fate Island had kicked out. That hadn't affected his view of Heavenly Fate Island. However, this time, Li Xiangxuan was forced to reconsider his view. Just why would Heavenly Fate Island waste so much effort to eliminate Long Chen? The most incomprehensible part of it all was that they would do this despite Long Chen being a heaven defier. Could it really be that they didn't realize what he is? Anyone who tried to calculate Long Chen's past, present, or future would die. Even if they were able to use other means to find out his next move, that still meant that he had to have an extraordinary origin. Why did they want him dead so badly? 
Long Chen, it's not a good idea for you to fight Heavenly Fate Island for now. After all, you have no proof that this incident was done by them. As for those hidden experts, they didn't reveal themselves. The only ones to openly reveal themselves were the corrupt path, and they can attack us without giving a reason. If you attacked, you wouldn't have a justifiable cause, warned Li Xiangxuan. Heavenly Fate Island scheming had been flawless, and they hadn't left a trace. Long Chen could only take it. Leaving behind his challenge to Heavenly Fate Island on the Devil Slaughter rankings was nothing more than venting. Telling them that he knew it was them Noveloon.com actually attacking them was not possible. He would just fall into their trap and be besieged from all sides. I know this. This is my diplomacy. I've clearly expressed my attitude toward them. It's my warning to the people in Heavenly Fate Island that if they don't want to die, they should think of some way to leave. I won't let them cry that they're innocent when I do go annihilate Heavenly Fate Island. I'm giving them a chance right now. And if they don't want to grasp it, that's their problem. I'm not so kind-hearted as to not avenge my enmities. In any case, I'll be making Heavenly Fate Island pay a price for their actions this time. I also suspect that they were asked to do this by others, said Long Chen. After all, Long Chen was surrounded by enemies. This was also a mark of a heaven defier. The world did not want him, let alone other people. If the corrupt path, the ancient races, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Family Alliance, Pill Valley, and the Blue Kill Hall all teamed up together to ask Heavenly Fate Island for help. What reason would they have to refuse? Li Xiangxuan did not know that a large figure from Heavenly Fate Island had had his heavenly eye destroyed when he had tried to kill Long Chen. The counterattack from the Divine Gate Star resulted in that person hating Long Chen. Long Chen didn't care what reason they had though. All he needed to know was that they wanted to kill him. If he didn't want them to achieve their goal, he would need to fight back. The cultivation world had no justice. If he wanted to live, he had to fight. Reporting to the Xuan Master, the Dao sect had been surrounded. Suddenly, an elder's frantic cry rang out, startling the three of them. Chapter 1714 The Zhuanshan Tower's Power Translator Born to be outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Many war chariots surrounded the gates. Each of those war chariots emitted powerful divine pressure. Each of them was a divine item, and the pressure was so suffocating that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were pale. Although they had yet to enter a battle state, just seeing so many powerful war chariots was frightening. Each chariot had its own specific mark. The lead chariot was marked with a giant pill furnace. That was Pill Valley's mark. The valley master, Yu Ziaoyan, was standing in the air, his hands clasped behind his back. He looked down at the Zhuanshan Dao sect, his gaze as sharp as a blade. Not far from the valley master was another war chariot. Inside was a large man with a violet gold crown on his head. His clone had previously been destroyed by Long Chen. He was the ancient family alliance's head, Di Long. Di Long's expression was icy today. The destruction of his clone had not been forgotten by him. He would never be able to escape the humiliation of having Long Chen destroy his clone. So there was no way to describe his hatred for Long Chen with words. On the other side was a giant man with explosive blood chi. It was like the power of his flesh was about to erupt out of him. Just standing there, the space around him twisted as if the world could not contain him. He was almost 10 meters tall, with bulging muscles. His arms were bare and it was possible to see divine runes flowing on his skin like countless wriggling serpents. This person was from the Xuan beasts. His pupils were vertical like a crocodile's, cold and merciless. Beside this expert from the Xuan beasts was a white-haired elder, the leader of the ancient races. His aura was well concealed, and even though he was standing there, people were unable to sense his existence. His cultivation technique was extremely strange, other than Pill Valley. The ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and the ancient races. There were also chariots of some sects from eastern, western, southern, and northern regions. Hundreds of them were blocking the sky. A flash of light came from the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan, and the Patriarch appeared in the sky, facing those experts. Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch stood behind Long Chen without saying anything, looking at the scene before him. Long Chen smiled coldly. 
What? After a sinister scheme fails, you want to fight openly Scram. You aren't qualified to speak here, seeing that the one to speak was Long Chen. Di Long was the first to find it unendurable. His voice was backed by the life and death energy of a nether passage expert. It rang out like thunder. Runes appeared around the Zhuanshan Dao sect as the protective formation was activated, blocking Di Long's roar. If that energy was allowed to invade the Zhuanshan Dao sect, a lot of disciples wouldn't be able to endure it. They would all be injured. How does someone who I've slapped and whose clone I've killed still have the face to cry about qualifications? If I were you, I'd have long since killed myself out of shame. For you to still be alive, did you spend all your years of cultivation on thickening your skin? Long Chen wasn't affected by Di Long's roar at all. He glanced at him indifferently. Everyone looked toward Di Long. The news that Long Chen had slapped Di Long and killed his clone had shaken the entire continent. They saw that Di Long's body was trembling. He was on the verge of exploding. Are you having an epilepsy episode? What are you shaking about? For you to come here in such force. Didn't you want to quarrel? You don't need to find a sanctimonious excuse. Come at me directly. Let's see who dies. Sneered Long Chen. Brat. Die. Di Long suddenly roared. A huge hand reached for Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. This Di Long was really an idiot. Not even his acting skills were up to par. How could an alliance head be so easily provoked? He was definitely acting. To use Long Chen's words, he truly was shameless. Di Long was as quick as lightning, but Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan, and the patriarch simply stared at him calmly. At that instant, a bone claw appeared in his hand. That bone claw didn't release any aura, adding on his great speed. It was easy for others to miss it. Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch didn't do anything, but Long Chen's divine ring manifested and five stars appeared in his eyes. As a pillar of light soared into the sky, he raised his right hand. What is he doing? Is he really trying to fight a nether passage expert? These experts from the various large powers of the continent were filled with shock. Had Long Chen gone mad? He would be blown to pieces instantly. Seeing Long Chen's aura rise, Di Long sneered. As long as he killed Long Chen in one attack, his humiliation would be wiped away. However, just as his hand was about to reach Long Chen, a light barrier appeared in front of him. It's the Zhuanshan Tower. Startled cries rang out. The Zhuanshan Tower was shining brightly. This barrier was clearly placed by it. You're looking down on me. Die. Di Long smiled. The bone claw in his hand suddenly appeared, whistling forward. He had long since anticipated the Zhuanshan Tower's defense. A true dragon bone claw. People finally saw that bone claw. Rumor was that it belonged to a true dragon from ancient times. It possessed dragon might. It required the bloodline of the true dragon race in order to use. This true dragon bone claw was not a divine item. But its power was even more terrifying than a divine item. It was a priceless treasure. It tore through the Zhuanshan Tower's barrier. The disciples' hearts rose into their throats. However, just as Di Long thought that he could kill Long Chen in one attack, his expression changed. His bone claw suddenly felt like it had crashed into something solid, something impossible to move. His hand hurt from the impact, and he was unable to push any further. There were only three inches between the bone claw and Long Chen's chest. However, there was no way to shorten the distance any further. Just at that moment, Long Chen, whose right hand had been raised in anticipation, struck, slapping Di Long across his shocked face. The immense power caused a sonic boom. A visible ripple spread on Di Long's face when Long Chen struck it. Di Long was sent flying back like a shooting star, crashing into a giant mountain hundreds of miles away. The mountain collapsed, and broken bones flew out in every direction. All the experts were filled with disbelief. Following the first mountain, the earth bulged. An entire mountain range expanded and then crumbled. Those experts were gobsmacked. Just how much power had Long Chen used? He had not only sent Di Long flying, but even once Di Long crashed into the ground, he was still unable to steady himself and continued to fly through the ground. Was this a level of power a human could possess? Let alone the others. Even the giant from the Xuan beasts was filled with disbelief. The huge mountain range continued to surge. Thousands of miles away, it suddenly exploded. 
and a figure flew out of the ground. Di Long's face was covered in blood, and half of it had caved in, revealing bones. He appeared frighteningly sinister. People couldn't help being shocked. How could an ether passage expert be slapped into this state? Just how much power had Long Chen used? Di Long was no ordinary nether passage expert. Well, it had to be said that Di Long was also unlucky. Long Chen had been holding back his anger for a long time now. Upon seeing Di Long, that suppressed anger was all released through this slap. This slap had not been purely used for humiliation. After all, this was an attack enforced with his divine ring and five-star battle armor. It could be said that this was the most powerful slap he had ever done. Your skin is really thick. In all my years, I've seen many things, but I have to give you first place when it comes to the thickness of the skin. Long Chen sighed and swung his arm a few times, flinging off the blood. He gave Di Long a big thumbs up. The blood on his hand was not Di Long's but his own. A nether passage expert was truly powerful. Just the counterforce was enough to cause his skin to split open. The nether passage realm was still in existence he could only look up to. This praise of Long Chen's was clearly an insult. Di Long roared. Black and white lines surged around his body, and the world began to tremble. Even the stars in the sky were quivering. He had actually activated his life and death energy. The true power of nether passage experts. With a flash, he vanished from his original location. Di Long's body had just vanished when a golden ray of light shot through the air. Shockingly, blood mist appeared there. Following that, space twisted and Di Long reappeared. Di Long now had a large hole in his chest. It was possible to see the scenery behind him through that hole. That bloody hole still had some golden light in it that was invading the rest of his body. Di Long looked down at the hole in his chest then to the Zhuanchen Tower in disbelief. Countless runes had condensed within the Zhuanchen Dao sect, forming a giant tower. The Zhuanchen Tower itself was shining brightly and slowly revolving with a shocking aura. It seems you were in too much of a rush to learn the real reason why the corrupt path retreated. Don't you think that was stupid? Or is it that the corrupt path had no intention of telling you the true reason? Long Chen smiled coldly at Di Long and the others under the illumination of the Zhuanchen Tower. Chapter 1715 Wild Wakes Up Translator Born to be isn't the Zhuanchen Tower supposed to be strongest in terms of defense but weak offensively? How can it have such power? All the experts' expressions changed. They looked at that tower soaring in the sky and emitting waves of divine pressure. The Zhuanchen Tower's power stunned all of them. That power made even Nether Passage experts quiver. They didn't know that the Zhuanchen Tower's offensive weakness had been made up for by the formation. The current Zhuanchen Tower was in full possession of both offense and defense. That first attack was a warning. Di Long, if you dare to take another step, I will make sure that the Martial Heaven Continent no longer has a Di Long, said Long Chen. Di Long's aura was still rising and the bone claw in his hand was also starting to emit a powerful divine pressure. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Who do you think you're trying to scare? Di Long sneered. Just now, he had been injured because of overconfidence. However, he wasn't afraid. He wanted to activate the bone claw to test the Zhuanchen Tower's power. Long Chen let out a smile full of contempt. Then you can try it. The reason he dared to ignore Di Long's power and even slap him was because of the Zhuanchen Tower. The Zhuanchen Tower was just an item spirit, but even it was angry now. It also wanted to make a show of its power. Since this many people had come to destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect, it would not accept such bullying. The Zhuanchen Tower was the personal weapon of the first generation Xuan Master. The founder of the Zhuanchen Dao sect it had personally witnessed the rise and fall of the sect however. While there had been countless small fights, there had never been this many experts at its doors. So the Zhuanchen Tower had given Long Chen a message. There was no need to be afraid because it was ready to kill as well. If they were obstructed at such a time, it would affect their future karmic luck. They couldn't turn cowardly now. That was why Long Chen dared to give his strongest and most satisfying slap in all of history. The rise of an expert was never the result of praying. If you wanted to get stronger, you had to advance over the corpses of countless other experts. There was no other path. The current Zhuanchen Dao sect could not retreat. HMPH, little brat, you're so arrogant? 
Then let's see if you can still be so arrogant once I destroy your Zhuangshan Dao sect. Surprisingly, the expert from the Xuan Beasts opened his mouth. His voice wasn't loud, but it resounded like divine lightning. If you want to brag so much, then there's no need to waste words. We can directly start fighting. Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hand. He pointed it at the Xuan Beast expert, his sharp aura slowly rising. In the face of a 12th rank Xuan Beast, he was filled with battle intent. When it came to other Nether Passage experts, Long Chen might not have the power to fight them, but the Xuan Beasts did not cultivate life and death energy. They only cultivated their power and divine abilities. As for this expert, he was clearly a power type fighter. Long Chen wanted to see just how powerful 12th rank Xuan Beasts were. Courting death, that Xuan Beast sneered. But just as he took a step forward, a furious roar rang out, shaking the sky. A terrifying aura exploded like a wild divine beast had been awoken. Even the Nether Passage experts got goosebumps. A huge figure suddenly flew out of the Zhuangshan Tower. It charged directly at the Xuan Beast expert. That figure shocked everyone. It was even larger than the Xuan Beast expert. It was a person covered in divine runes, with two horns on their head and a completely wild aura that surged out of control. That was not the aura of a human. Who are you? The Xuan Beast expert snorted and smashed a fist at the incoming figure. He was a Xuan Beast, and he instantly recognized that this person was not human. Furthermore, this incoming person's aura made him a bit afraid. That was a fear that came from the depths of his soul. Wild. Long Chen and the others were startled. That giant figure charging over was wild. Wild's eyes were scarlet as if he had gone insane. His body might be huge, but he also looked so thin that he wasn't much more than a skeleton. The current Wild gave off a very foreign feeling to them. Long Chen was about to fly over to help Wild against the Xuan Beast expert. But just at that moment, Wild let out an angry roar. I want meat. In front of everyone's dumbfounded eyes. Wild grabbed onto the Xuan Beast Expert's arm. As for the Xuan Beast Expert, he was stunned to find that his fist only caused an explosive sound upon landing on Wild's chest. The sight of Wild exploding that he had expected didn't appear. In fact, he didn't seem injured at all. Having grabbed the Xuan Beast Expert's arm, Wild refused to let go. No matter how the Xuan Beast tried to fling him off, he failed. Then, under everyone's dumbfounded eyes, Wild opened his mouth and took a big bite into the Xuan Beast Expert's shoulder. A-H-H-H. -h -h. The Xuan Beast Expert let out a miserable howl. A large hunk of his flesh was bitten off by Wild. People's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. That was a 12th rank Xuan Beast. His body was comparable to divine items. But Wild was actually able to tear out a piece of his flesh. What gave them a chill though was that Wild swallowed that hunk of flesh immediately and then took another bite. Another piece of his flesh was torn away. The Xuan Beast expert roared and crazily battered Wild with his other fist. However, Wild simply used one arm to protect his head as he continued biting. Boom. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out and Wild was blown away. When they looked at the Xuan Beast expert, they saw that one of his arms had vanished. His shoulder was a massive pulp. In the distance, Wild was holding a giant arm 100 meters long. He was crazily eating it. Wild's mouth seemed to have some kind of spatial power to it. He finished eating the whole arm in just a few breaths time. Both friend and foe looked at Wild in stunned silence. After devouring the arm, Wild's withered body plumped up a bit. His eyes shone as he looked at the Xuan Beast expert. With a roar, he charged over again. That Xuan Beast expert had just used a secret art to restore his arm when Wild charged over again. Suddenly, a golden light shot out of the Xuan Beast expert's forehead. The golden light was like a celestial sword slashing down. It was one of his powerful divine abilities. Split the heavens six. Long Chen immediately slashed Evil Moon at the golden light. His divine ability was blown apart by Long Chen's saber. Divine light filled the air. The experts present couldn't help being moved. Long Chen's saber hadn't just been powerful, but his control was so great. Although he had attacked second, his attack landed first, and with shocking precision at that, it struck right where the Xuan Beast expert's attack was weakest. It even stunned the old monsters that had lived for countless years. 
They finally realized that Long Chen hadn't climbed to his current height due to luck. This one attack showed them that Long Chen was a true expert. AHH the Xuan Beast expert had no time to attack again after his attack was broken by Long Chen. He suddenly let out a heaven-shaking howl. When the golden light faded, people finally saw a scene that made them quiver. Wild was holding the Xuan Beast expert's leg and crazily biting it, like a hamster that had been starved for hundreds of years and had finally found corn. The Xuan Beast expert was attacking Wild, but this position made it so he was unable to use his full power. Furthermore, the immense pain from his leg was also an issue. A tempest of punches rained down on Wild's back, but it was like beating a drum. The explosive sounds shook the air. Suddenly, Wild was sent flying by one of the punches. He landed in the distance, raising a cloud of smoke. Heavens, this is too vicious. All the experts that had come with the Xuan Beast expert felt icy cold sweat on their backs. The Xuan Beast expert's leg had vanished. Fresh blood was still spurting out of the wound. In the distance, Wild was holding a mountain-sized leg covered in black fur. He was devouring it quickly, and in just a few seconds, it was fully consumed. Wild was practically a man-eating monster. Even a 12th rank Xuan beast was eaten by him. Was there anyone more savage than him? He ate his opponent alive. This scene was barely endurable to the spectators. Die. Having had his arm and leg eaten, the Xuan beast expert was infuriated. His body suddenly grew larger, and he transformed into a black gorilla tens of thousands of meters tall. The explosive blood heaven piercing gorilla race. Startled cries rang out as they recognized this Xuan Beast expert's true form. It was a very terrifying race amongst the Xuan Beasts. They had berserk blood flowing within their veins. Once it was activated, their power grew explosively. They also had innate divine abilities that were said to be able to destroy heaven and earth. Even divine items could be suppressed by them. This Xuan Beast expert was completely infuriated and almost went crazy. He was a grand 12th rank Xuan beast, but he had actually been eaten. This kind of humiliation was even worse than Long Chen's slapping of Di Long. He roared, and following his roar, the world shuddered. A fist as large as a mountain smashed toward Wild. Boom. The Zhuanshan Tower activated, unleashing a golden shield that blocked the punch. Golden light flowed, and Wild was pulled back, attacked together to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Suddenly. Di Long roared. His bone claw lit up, and he charged forward, taking advantage of when the Zhuanshan Tower was blocking the Xuan Beast expert. Interesting. I want to see who has such gods. Suddenly, a woman's icy voice rang out. Di Long and the others' bodies stiffened. They looked up in the sky. Chapter 1716 Original Devil Race. Exposed Translator. Born to be Alliance Head. Upon seeing that figure. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts cried out excitedly. That woman was Ku Jinying. Ku Jinying was standing in the sky, looking coldly at the experts surrounding the Zhuanshan Dao sect. I, Ku Jinying, have not yet died, and you are not able to threaten the Zhuanshan Dao sect if you really feel so bored. Then I don't mind immediately activating the Martial Heaven Order so we can have a decisive fight. What do you say? Ku Jinying's expression was dark and she was overflowing with killing intent. Her words conveyed her fury. This time, Long Chen had taken first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. That had greatly excited Ku Jinying. The glory that the Martial Heaven Alliance had not dared to hope for had become reality under her command. She had just been preparing to gather the entire Martial Heaven Alliance and have a celebration. Taking advantage of this opportunity to raise the Alliance's morale and unity. Hopefully that would eliminate all the unsavory rumors. However, she quickly received word that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been surrounded. Long Chen had only just taken first place when Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance, and many other powers had gone to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, saying that they would destroy it. How could Ku Jinying not be infuriated? She had been preparing for a celebration, so if Long Chen was killed by them, it would be a clear slap in her face, even in the face of the likes of Yu Ziaoyan, Di Long, and the other experts. She could not contain her fury despite her best efforts. All those familiar with Ku Jinying knew that she was prepared to launch a war. Hearing her mention the Martial Heaven Order, 
Yu Ziaoyan, Di Long, and the others' expressions changed. The Martial Heaven Order was the highest order of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Once activated, all sects belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance had to instantly gather for a life and death battle. It was an order to be used only when a great calamity was about to befall the Martial Heaven continent. Hujining, I don't believe you would dare to do so. You know the consequences of activating the Martial Heaven Order, shouted Yu Ziaoyan. HMPH, there are many things that you don't believe. Although the Martial Heaven Order is for fighting off invaders from other worlds, I can still activate it if others want to bully the Martial Heaven Alliance. Having repeatedly accommodated you, it seems you think yourselves invincible. Since you aren't afraid, why should I be? It just means we have to fight until one side dies. Rather than thinking of how to fight off the invaders, you lot spend all day scheming against us, the ones who should be united. If you're just going to weaken us anyway, then we might as well settle things now. Let's see who lasts longer. Jin Ying's voice was frosty. No one doubted her determination. Boom. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out, and the Xuan Beast expert was forced back by the Zhuanshan Tower. The divine light filling the air retracted, and the Zhuanshan Tower returned to its original state. Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch stood beside Hu Jinying, coldly staring at Di Long and the others. Hu Jinying had clearly come to intimidate them. Long Chen ran over to Wild. Wild's body shrank until he was around three meters tall. Wild. Long Chen was both delighted and surprised to see Wild. He had unexpectedly woken at such a time. Brother Long, how long have I been sleeping? I feel so hungry, like my stomach is burning. It feels a bit better after I got that snack. Hmm, what are these things on my head? Wild was still as simple and straightforward as before. He touched the horns on his head with a confused expression. It's nothing. In a bit, your brother Long will bring you hunting. Just try to endure the hunger for now. Long Chen patted Wild on the shoulder with a smile. When his hand touched Wild's shoulder, Long Chen was shocked to find that Wild's skin was like a dragon's hide. It was incomparably tough. Every inch of him was filled with explosive power. The current Wild was like a volcano that could explode at any moment and destroy the world. All right, I'll listen to Big Brother Long. Brother Long, that fellow's meat tastes very good. Wild pointed toward the distant Xuan Beast expert. He involuntarily gulped down a mouthful of saliva. Long Chen was speechless. He understood that Wild lived for meat. The stronger the flesh, the more delicious it would taste. I loathe this bastard's race. Suddenly, Evil Moon's voice rang out in Long Chen's head. What I'll warn you that this foolish brother of yours will eat anything. He will bring you countless enemies in the future. So don't blame me for not warning you. Long Chen was dumbfounded for a moment. He suddenly said, Does his race eat your kind as well? Evil Moon snorted and didn't reply. Long Chen jumped in shock. Just what kind of race was Wild to be able to even consume dragons? However, upon thinking about Wild's brain, if he was hungry, then he would eat anything with meat on it. He wouldn't care what race it was. Gu Yang and the others had been shocked to see Wild's new appearance. But seeing that he was the same person as before, they relaxed and went over to greet him. Hu Jinying, do you really want to stubbornly cling to the wrong side? All alone? Aren't you throwing the world's peace into danger? Demanded Di Long. The world's peace? Why does that sound like such a joke when coming out of your mouth? When have you, Di Long, cared about the world's peace? So many disciples sacrificed their lives to stop the devil creatures from charging out of the devil abyss. They fought for the Martial Heaven Continent, but you have decided to bring an army to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Is this your so-called world peace? Sneered Hu Jinying. We have our reasons. Raged Di Long. What reasons? Asked Hu Jinying contemptuously. Long Chen colluded with the original devil race. People have already released the proof. Di Long swung his arm, activating a photographic jade. An image of the Dragonblood Legion fighting the devil army appeared. In it, a veiled woman was floating in the sky. There was a clear devil character on her forehead, and it was shining brightly. This was the scene of Yu Ziaoki and helping Long Chen to destroy the devil army. HMPH, don't tell me that you don't recognize the original devil race's innate divine ability. That woman is clearly one of Long Chen's allies. 
on the martial heaven continent, colluding with the original devil races punished with the death penalty. We are fighting for the continent's peace. Is there a problem with us coming to investigate this matter? Demanded De Long. The image in the sky caused all the experts' expressions to change. The original devil race was forbidden on the martial heaven continent. Rumor was that they were true fiends intent on destroying the martial heaven continent and enslaving everyone. It was said that the dark eras had been caused by them. The original devil race was the entire continent's enemy. Any person, any power found to be colluding with them would be killed. Furthermore, the original devil race's experts were very easy to recognize. When they were using their full power, a devil character would appear on their foreheads. This was conclusive proof. If Long Chen had really colluded with the original devil race, he would be doomed. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect tried to protect him, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would also become the martial heaven continent's enemy. Hu Jinying's expression also changed. Clearly, the news she had received was limited to Long Chen getting first place. She hadn't been told the process. Suddenly, the sound of someone clapping rang out. Long Chen slowly walked over with a disdainful smile as he looked at the fierce Di Long. I'm admiring you more and more. It's no wonder slapping you hurt my hand so much. Your sin is truly thick. Tell me, who gave you that photographic jade? Do you dare to tell me? HMPH. You want to silence the witness? Do you think I'd fall for that? No one can protect you. So don't even bother. Sneered Di Long. Long Chen's smile grew. I knew that you were a coward. Even after I slapped your clone, killed it, and then slapped your true body, you still don't dare to kill me. I sympathize with you. For the ancient family alliance's leader to reach this point, it's probably something unprecedented in all of history and impossible for any future generations to surpass. Long Chen, don't try to change the subject. The question is why did you collude with that woman from the original devil race and what is your relationship with her? Don't you think you should own up to your sins by now? Yu Ziaoyan suddenly interjected. Valley Master, you shouldn't randomly say things, nor should you randomly accuse others. Where did you see me collude with that woman? Asked Long Chen innocently. HMPH, you greeted that woman and then immediately shut your mouth. Do you think we didn't see it? You shouted Xiao clearly greeting her. Is this really the point that you want to argue? Sneered Yu Ziaoyan. Valley Master, it seems you've been in seclusion for so long. You've already forgotten how to act like a human and instead think everyone's a beast. It seems you've forgotten your roots. Long Chen intentionally glanced at the Xuan beast experts and the ancient race experts. The meaning behind that glance could not be clearer. The Xuan beast and ancient race experts were infuriated. This was a clear insult. Before they could say anything, Long Chen continued. Just because I said Xiao, it means I know her and colluded with her? What a huge joke. I was calling her young lady. What's wrong with that? Valley Master, if I call you junior brother, does that mean we're colluding? Leader of the ancient races, if I call you a little idiot, giant fool of the Xuan beasts, if I call you a damn brat, D Long. If I call you a piece of trash, would that mean that we are colluding? Fuck off. Since we're all colluding according to your logic, why did you bring so many people to destroy my Zhuangshan Dao sect? Are your heads filled with crap? Long Chen pointed at all of them, cursing them loudly. His voice grew louder and louder, his spittle flying through the air. The Xiao in Yu Ziaokian is, meaning small. All the following names he gave the leaders in this paragraph included the Xiao character. Chapter 1717 You little brat translator. Born to be Long Chen pointed at the opposing experts, cursing them on the nose arrogantly. These people were all supreme experts. People who could stand amongst the likes of Pill Valley's master, the head of the ancient family alliance, etc. They were all figures that could shake the martial heaven continent. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were stunned to see Long Chen cursing these experts so directly, yet they also had worship in their eyes when they looked at him. Who else in this world was as domineering as Long Chen? A soul transformation disciple cursed Nether Passage experts into bastards. If news of this were to spread, it would shake the entire world. Long Chen, watch your words. Hu Jinying jumped in shock at Long Chen's cursing. If these people were fully angered and went crazy, 
she wouldn't necessarily be able to protect him. Oh, sorry, my sincere apologies. I was just making a comparison. He, if I angered anyone, I'm truly sorry. Although Long Chen was apologizing, that arrogant laughter of his didn't contain the slightest apologetic tone. You're clearly twisting logic to cover up your collusion with the original devil race. Di Long was red with fury. He pointed at Long Chen angrily. Am I the one trying to cover up the truth? Or are you the one trying to frame me? How did saying a standard greeting become collusion? In fact, I didn't even give a full greeting. And that is still considered collusion by you? Now who's the one twisting logic? If you wanted to, you could directly say that since I looked at her, we must be colluding. That glance must have been a case of love at first sight. Long Chen continued to spout nonsense. He naturally wouldn't admit to such a thing. Now he knew why Yu Ziaokian hadn't let him speak to her, and why she had vanished after helping with one attack. She must have noticed the people hidden in the surroundings. What nonsense. If you had no relationship with her, why would she help you out? Demanded Di Long. Are you an idiot? Why would you ask me that? How am I supposed to know why she would help me? Long Chen looked at Di Long contemptuously. Ku Jin Ying was standing beside him. Even with this many nether passage experts at such a close distance, Long Chen truly didn't have anything to fear with Ku Jin Ying, the Patriarch, and the Zhuanshan Tower as his shield. I think I might know. Suddenly, a voice that startled everyone rang out. Guo Ran walked forward apologetically. I'm sorry boss, I'm a righteous man, and there are some things that I just can't keep quiet. My apologies. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were greatly shocked. Was Guo Ran planning on becoming a turncoat? Only the Dragonblood warriors looked at him oddly, not quite sure what he was thinking. Di Long and the others smiled delightedly, thinking Guo Ran had been bought by one of them and was coming forward to testify against Long Chen. What do you know? As long as you tell us, no one would dare to hurt you, said Di Long. Guo Ran nodded. In truth, when it comes to this matter, you've overlooked one detail. What detail? Asked Di Long. The detail that the veiled woman was a female, said Guo Ran confidently as if it were some secret. Di Long and the other's expression sank. Who was this idiot? Anyone with eyes could tell that it had been a woman. That was his so-called detail? So what demanded an ancient race elder? It seemed the others no longer wished to speak with this fellow, so he could only thicken his face. Do you not know? My boss Long Chen is a handsome man, of great suave and style. He is a genius of literature, culture, and martial power. Rumor is that he began practicing literature at three, training in martial arts at four, mastering the arts of poetry and song at five, slaughtering chickens at six, slaying dragons at seven hold it. What is the point of all of this? Someone finally interrupted Guo Ran, feeling like they had gone off track. What I'm saying is that this woman must have been affected by my boss's great charisma, which is why she suddenly helped him. Perhaps the rest of you might still be mystified by this, but a wise man like myself saw through this detail from the start. Scram. D Long finally couldn't bear it anymore. A powerful sound wave surged toward Guo Ran. Boom. Guo Ran was sent flying, blood pouring from his nose, eyes, and ears. Di Long had attacked so suddenly, that despite the Zhuanshan Tower summoning a golden barrier that blocked most of his power, Guo Ran was still coughing up blood. Fuck off. Do you think my brother is someone you can touch? Di Long had yet to shut his mouth after his roar when Long Chen appeared in front of him like a phantom, slapping him once more. He was as quick as lightning and borrowed the counter force to return to his original location. People had barely seen him move before it was all over. The fact that Di Long would attack Guo Ran was already out of everyone's expectations, but Long Chen's attack was even more surprising. Di Long sneak attacked Guo Ran, and Long Chen sneak attacked Di Long. Guo Ran was bleeding from his seven orifices, while Di Long had been slapped. Both sides had odd expressions. Boss. Well struck, beat that bastard. I was just testifying my view based on facts and reason, and he suddenly sneak attacked me. D Long, you're fucking garbage. Guo Ran pointed at D Long furiously as he cursed. Guo Ran hadn't expected D Long to suddenly attack. Without the Zhuanshan Tower's protection, he'd have been killed just now. 
Although there was no danger to his life, his head felt like it was splitting, and his Yuan spirit was injured. Originally, this was just a chance for him to show off and liven up the atmosphere, but he had almost lost his life. How could he not be infuriated? However, Long Chen was really interesting. His vicious slap of Di Long's face could count as compensation. At the very least, this now served as a warning to Guo Ran. If he wanted to show off, there was danger involved. Bastard. Di Long was knocked several meters back. This time, Long Chen hadn't had his divine ring or battle armor, which limited his slap's power. It wasn't even enough to injure Di Long. However, compared to the pain of the flesh, the pain of the mind was much worse. Just how many times had Long Chen slapped Di Long now? It was like he was beating a child who wasn't listening. The experts were all stunned each time Di Long was struck by Long Chen's slap. When he saw their curious gazes, Di Long felt like killing himself. Adding on Long Chen's words, he went berserk and was about to charge out. However, he was held back by Yu Ziaoyan. Yu Ziaoyan looked at Long Chen coldly. No matter how you quibble, it doesn't change the fact that you colluded with the original devil race. How laughable. Your pill valley really likes to interject itself into everything. Ha? Huh? Do you think you're the bailiffs of this world? Let me use a phrase that you like to use so often. All things require proof. If you want to say I committed a crime, you have to bring out real proof. Or you're just farting into the air. A recording of me saying half a greeting is not enough to say I colluded with the original devil race. Valley Master, I originally thought you had some intelligence, but it seems you're only so-so. Next time you want to frame someone, make sure to gather more proof, or this kind of game will only end up with you embarrassing yourself. Other than that, please tell those idiots from Heavenly Fate Island that the calculations of man cannot surpass the calculations of the heavens. No matter how refined a scheme is, it will always have some hole. Tell them to be careful. Because once I grasp that hole, I'll become a wild dog biting their throats until they die. Looking at the surrounding experts, Long Chen continued, There's no point in continuing this. If the Alliance head wasn't present, perhaps you could have obtained your goal. Killing me with some random grand excuse and then slandering my corpse while covering up your crimes. However, you missed your best chance to eliminate me. Furthermore, this time, I can clearly see your determination to eradicate me. That's very good. It means none of us will need to keep acting in the future. We can just directly fight. Let's see who kills who in the end. Time will tell. Hey, what are you still doing here? Scram. Are you planning on shamelessly staying here and begging for a meal? They had expressed their attitude. So he was expressing his. They would be true enemies in the future. You kill me. I kill you. This was right and proper. There was no need to find any excuse. They could simply fight to the death. Yu Ziaoyan, Di Long, and the other experts were all gloomy. Some of them had some worry and fear in their eyes. They recalled how the Eastern Xuan region sects had been destroyed one by one. What if Long Chen suddenly came to their sects as well? Would they be able to stop him? Quite a few experts began to regret coming here. They hadn't expected things to end up like this. They were stuck between two hard choices. I feel like there's no need to rush a judgment while things are not fully clear. We can continue investigating. If this is a mistake, it would be best not to harm the peace, said an elder, clearly a bit afraid. That's right. We need to investigate the matter of the original devil race before coming to a conclusion. We definitely won't let off a bad person, but we definitely won't wrongly accuse a good person. Others immediately began to agree with that person's words. More and more of the experts began to say that they had to consider this matter at length, and that fighting amongst themselves was foolish. They would become laughingstocks in history. In the end, Di Long, Yu Ziaoyan, and that expert from the Xuan Beasts conversed secretly for a while before saying that they would definitely investigate this matter. Hu Jianying smiled, knowing that the three of them were trying to find a way out of this predicament for themselves. She also said that the Martial Heaven Continent would do a full investigation. After that, Yu Ziaoyan and the others scattered. The Zhuangshan Dao sect returned to its original calm. Upon returning to the Zhuangshan Tower, Hu Jianying, whose expression had been calm, suddenly tried to grab Long Chen's ear and twist it. 
You little brat. Chapter 1718 Duan Xian I a translator, born to be as soon as Dilong, Yu Ziaoyan, and the others left. Long Chen had felt that Ku Jianying's gaze was a bit off, and so he had been on guard. As soon as Ku Jianying's arm had reached toward him, he had turned and dodged behind the patriarch, hiding. You little brat, you dare to dodge, raged Ku Jianying. Alliance head, if there's anything to say, we can talk about it properly. Long Chen is already grown up, and treating him like this is a bit unsuitable, said the patriarch. Since the patriarch was the only one whose cultivation base and seniority were high enough to say such things to Ku Jianying, he could only thicken his face. What? Once he's grown up, I can't beat him? Just because he obtained first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, I can't admonish him? You little scoundrel, I was in the midst of thinking how to reward you when you stirred up such trouble. He gave me that much trouble so quickly. Why can't I set him straight? Raged Ku Jianying. This matter can't be blamed on Long Chen. It was entirely those people who went too far. Even the Zhuanshan Tower couldn't bear it. Explained the patriarch hastily. Don't bring up such useless things. I'm more aware of Di Long and Yu Ziaoyan's intentions than you are. I simply find this little scoundrel to be displeasing. So what if I want to vent? Ku Jianying glared at Long Chen. Alliance head, I worked so hard to get first place for you. How can you find me displeasing? Said Long Chen in an aggrieved manner. Do you still not realize that these two matters are unrelated? You're a typical case of a child who will start tearing out roof tiles if you aren't disciplined every day. If I let you off so easily. Sooner or later you'll cause such trouble that even I won't be able to handle it. Casting Long Chen a sideways glance. Ku Jianying added. As for that woman. You should be careful. As soon as anyone catches solid proof. You will immediately become the enemy of the world. Your enemies won't let that opportunity go. When the time comes. Even if I were to sacrifice my own life. I wouldn't be able to protect you. Ku Jianying's words gravely emphasized the danger. Long Chen's argument clearly hadn't tricked her, nor could it trick Di Long, Yu Ziaoyan, and the others. The only reason Yu Ziaoyan and the others had left was because they had no solid proof, and with Ku Jianying and the Zhuanshan Dao sect fully supporting Long Chen, there was no way for them to use force against him. Just because they had left now didn't mean that they had given up, it was the opposite. They would be keeping a close eye on him in the future, and if he slipped up, then the venomous viper that had been lying in wait for so long would strike, killing him in one bite. So Ku Jianying had to admonish him, or it would be too late if Long Chen were to act without thinking of the consequences. However, even Ku Jianying did not ask the truth about Yu Ziaokian. Clearly, this topic was taboo even for her. I understand. Long Chen knew that Ku Jianying was doing this for his own good. The four of them sat down. Long Chen once more told the whole story of what had happened. Although that matter had passed, Long Chen's fury still ignited when he explained how someone from Heavenly Fate Island had sabotaged them. Alliance head, I don't understand. Why would Heavenly Fate Island do so much to target Long Chen? That's not their usual style, asked Li Xiangxuan. Because the old master of Heavenly Fate Island went into seclusion 800 years ago. And during this time Duan Xianaya is in charge of Heavenly Fate Island. You know Duan Xianaya's relationship with Xuan Jizi. Correct said Ku Jianying. Li Xiangxuan was startled. You mean the rumors are true? Xuan Jizi is Duan Xianaya's secret bastard child. It's most likely true. Otherwise, considering how Xuan Jizi harmed others in the past, then according to Heavenly Fate Island's rules, he'd have been executed. The fact that he was only expelled and even managed to establish the Grand Heavenly Fate Pavilion in the Grand Han definitely has Duan Xianaya's shadow behind it. Then Xuan Jizi suddenly vanished. While that matter of Long San suddenly appeared in Pill Valley right while Xuan Jizi was there. Even without the ability to read fate. I know this matter was done by Long Chen. Duan Xianaya has hundreds of ways to determine the true cause of Xuan Jizi's death. Long Chen. Tell me. Am I correct? Ku Jianying looked at Long Chen. Cough. Actually, it wasn't done by just me. I did it with the pill fairy. If we were splitting the merit, she would be the main culprit, said Long Chen awkwardly. 
He really hadn't known that Xuan Jizi had such a background. He guessed that the pill fairy also hadn't known. It must be a secret only the senior generation knew. After a moment's hesitation, Long Chen finally decided to ask. He greatly longed to know the secret of the original devil race and why they had become enemies with the entire world. Alliance head. When it comes the original this isn't a question you should ask. It's taboo. It would be best if you never mentioned it. Hu Jinying immediately interrupted him. She then profoundly added, There are no absolute rights or wrongs in this world. You've already grown up, and you know your responsibility. The reason I normally admonish you is in hopes that you will be more cautious in the future instead of always leaving a pile of crap for your seniors to clean up after you. After all, you've also grown into a large tree capable of blocking the wind and rain. You have to consider the big picture instead of being hot-tempered and charging forward blindly. However, when it comes to your choice, both myself and your sect leader support you. You must form your own opinion and determine your own responsibility. As long as you think your choice is right, then you do it. However, in that process, it would be best if you left yourself a path out so that you can survive while you still haven't grown to your peak state. Otherwise, the next time Heavenly Fate Island Sneak attacks you, you won't be this lucky. Hu Jinying reached out and straightened Long Chen's collar. The current Hu Jinying didn't have any of the imposing dignity of the leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Instead, she seemed like an elder kindly teaching a child. Many thanks, Alliance head. Long Chen was moved inside. From the start, Hu Jinying had viewed him as her own child. What is there to thank? If that old man heard you thank me, he'd break your leg. Hu Jinying smiled faintly, but that smile contained a trace of worry. The odds of failure when attempting to break through the Nether Passage realm were extremely high. No one was guaranteed to pass. Right now, all she could do was wait. Senior Pu, how should we handle Heavenly Fate Island? Asked Li Shai Anxuan. There's no need for us to do anything. Let them continue. They are interfering with the heavenly deos, so they won't have a good end. People like them walk the precipice between the inside and the outside of the heavenly deos. Having made such a huge movement that interferes with the natural order of the heavenly deos, the heavenly deos will definitely not let them off easily. HMPH. When the time comes, their deaths will definitely be miserable ones. Hu Jinying shook her head. Heavenly Fate Island cultivated the ability to see through the heavens. This kind of profession seemed amazing, but it was like dancing on the tip of a blade. If they only viewed things from the perspective of a bystander, perhaps it would be better. However, if they tried to interfere with fate, the heavenly deos would immediately lock onto them. That was why Heavenly Fate Island didn't have many true disciples. Many of them died to heavenly tribulation because once you were locked onto by the heavenly deos, when the time for your tribulation came, your heavenly tribulation would turn into heavenly punishment. Countless experts longed to be able to know the future while not imagining the danger involved. Each year, millions of disciples would enter heavenly fate island to cultivate, but the number that could become core disciples was less than 1 in 10,000. Heavenly Fate Island didn't even need trials to wash out their disciples. If they could survive their tribulations, then they could continue studying the way to peer into the heavens. Many disciples committed a taboo of the heavenly deos without even realizing it. When their tribulation transformed into heavenly punishment, they were turned to dust. So training in heaven-peering arts was like standing on a raised pole above a 30,000-meter cliff. Whether you went left or right, if you went past a limit, you would fall. An old monster like Duan Shianaya definitely wouldn't be so foolish as to personally do anything to Long Chen. Most likely, he had used a large number of disciples to collect information about Long Chen from many different angles. That was the only possibility as to how he had made such a perfect scheme. He might not be as affected, but all those people who obeyed his orders would definitely die when their tribulations came. However, if Heavenly Fate Island wants to, can't they reuse these people? Asked Li Shai Anxuan. After all, they would die in any case. Using them once meant they died, but using them ten times also meant that they died. Why not use the same people over and over again? You're overthinking it. They will only have one chance to do such large-scale calculations against Long Chen. 
Such large movements will definitely draw the attention of the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos will protect themselves, screening the lines of fate from those people. Duan Shianaya would have to use another batch of people. However, if he does that, ignoring whether or not he cares if there will be any disciples left to carry out heavenly fate island's inheritance, he himself will not get off lightly. If he tries to undergo such a large movement again, with him in charge twice, the heavenly deos will lock on to him. Although he's at the nether passage realm and has no hope of further advancements, the heavens have other ways to punish people. His longevity will shorten by hundreds or even thousands of times. Do you think he would dare? Hu Jinying smiled. So that's the case. Li Xiangxuan and Long Chen understood now. No wonder Hu Jinying dared to say that they wouldn't be able to pull off such a scheme again. In truth, Heavenly Fate Island was just a group of people that were full of tricks. But the Heavenly Deos were merciless. And if they interfered with the Heavenly Deos, they would invoke karma. However, even if Heavenly Fate Island does not try to read your fate again, you can't be careless. They have great influence. So be careful of them setting you up for something. In any case, just make sure not to give them anything they can use against you. You can leave the rest to me. As long as there's no proof, you can mess around as much as you want. I'll handle them, said Ku Jinying. Long Chen smiled. The feeling of having someone supporting him was truly good. However, some enmities had to be avenged personally. He had to give Heavenly Fate Island a painful lesson. All right, let's not talk about these things. Aren't you interested in the reward for this battle as soon as Ku Jinying said this? Long Chen's eyes began to shine. Money. Chapter 1719 Terrifying Dongming Ayu Translator Born to be the Martial Heaven Alliance controlled a huge part of the entire continent's wealth. The Martial Heaven Alliance had its own ores and businesses. Originally, the Martial Heaven Alliance was established by all the continent's righteous sects. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance had such a huge amount of health, they were only in charge of overseeing it. They did not have the authority to directly use it. A portion of the Martial Heaven Alliance's wealth came from a yearly tax each large sect had to pay. Another portion came from the Martial Heaven Alliance's own mines and businesses. And another portion came from battle spoils won in battles against the corrupt path. This wealth was jointly owned, and each sect would pay tax according to its scale. Considering just how many righteous sects there were, the total sum was an astonishing amount. After all these years, the amount of wealth that it had accumulated could only be described as terrifying. However, this wealth had to be spent on defending the righteous path, raising geniuses, and rewarding merit. Furthermore, any large expenditures had to have the alliance head's personal nod of approval, as well as the elders. That was to avoid anyone being selfish or corrupt and abusing that wealth. Now, Long Chen had led the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples to defend the entire eastern Xuan region's Devil Abyss. That meant that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was receiving all the eastern Xuan region's reward. In the past, each time the Devil Abyss erupted, it would mean the sacrifices of countless disciples. The compensation for these disciples went to their sects. A single region's sects numbered in the tens of thousands. Each sect was given a reward based on their accomplishments. And just those rewards were extremely plentiful. Because the rest of the Eastern Xuan region sects had been instigated by others to not participate in the Devil Abyss. All their reward was going to the Zhuangshan Dao sect. What shocked Long Chen was that the reward set for the Eastern Xuan region was a staggering sum of 15 billion spirit crystals. However, thinking about it, when 15 billion spirit crystals were split between tens of thousands of sects, just how much could each sect get? It wasn't just the sum that was shocking, but it also allowed Long Chen to see the power of the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, the Eastern Xuan region was just one of the four weaker regions. The Central Xuan region's reward was definitely even greater because it had more sects and more devil creatures. Long Chen, I actually have to apologize for this matter of the rewards, because the rewards for the Eastern, Western, Southern, and northern regions always have to stay the same according to the rules. Ku Jinying couldn't help apologizing. This rule was based on the Devil Abyss's formation that split the devil creatures into several channels. The central Xuan region was always the main force, 
so it got a larger reward, while the rest of the devil creatures were split between the other four regions equally, so the reward was split equally as well. However, Long Chen had killed an even larger number of the devil creatures due to Heavenly Fate Island sabotage. According to reason, he should obtain an even greater reward. Unfortunately, that matter was an accident, something unexpected. So if she wanted to reward Long Chen, she would have to go through the elders and have this matter fully investigated first. Heavenly Fate Island was so crafty, and they couldn't have left behind any evidence. Since this matter would remain murky and unclear, it would be very difficult to give Long Chen his big reward. Furthermore, Long Chen's kill points had explosively grown, to the point where there was no longer a number. That was also something that had not occurred in the history of the devil slaughtering rankings. Hu Jinying was clearer than anyone just how strict the reward system of the Martial Heaven Alliance was. Without bringing out all the evidence, obtaining the reward was very, very difficult. That was why Long Chen's current reward was just the base reward. The aftermath of Heavenly Fate Island was not taken into account, so those life star level winged devils he had slain were not counted. If Long Chen wished to persevere in chasing after that reward, the Elder Hall of the Martial Heaven Alliance would send experts to investigate this matter, but with their strict rules, the chances of him obtaining the reward were slim. Hu Jinying disliked these strict and unbending rules, but there was nothing she could do about them, as they were passed down from countless years ago. Furthermore, without these strict rules, many people would be able to pull tricks with the reward leading to greater corruption and greed. At that time, the day of the Martial Heaven Alliance's collapse would not be far. So despite how much Long Chen had done, she couldn't help him, making her feel guilty. It's fine. In any case, this is enough money for me. Long Chen smiled. The reason he lacked money was because he needed to rebuild the Zhuanshan Dao sect 15 billion spirit crystals was more than enough. After discussing it with Li Xiangxuan, they decided to split the 15 billion spirit crystals into three even portions. One portion would go to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. Li Xiangxuan told Long Chen that in truth, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was so poor that they had nothing to eat. They had been reducing the number of disciples they were recruiting with each passing year. However, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect cared far too much about face. If Li Xiangxuan were to give them this money, they definitely wouldn't accept it. It would be up to Long Chen to handle that. Both the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect and the Zhuanshan Dao Sect were united, and they were like Long Chen's family. Considering their absolute trust in him, Long Chen wouldn't let them suffer. Of course, there was no way that he could give his own money to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect with the old man's character. He would definitely beat Long Chen. However, when it came to splitting this reward after all the hard work had been done, there was no reason for the old man to refuse. The second portion of the money would go to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. It was enough to finish the construction and more. As for the remaining portion, Long Chen proposed splitting it amongst the families of the disciples who had died in the battle this time. This kind of compensation was too generous. It made even Ku Jinying nod with approval. It was no wonder so many disciples would follow Long Chen to death. After all, Based on the current situation, just taking out 1 billion spirit crystals as compensation would be a stunning move. Long Chen, you and Guo Ran both entered the top 10. There are more benefits to that than you realize. As for what they are, you'll see soon. Hu Jinying smiled. Other than the reward for defending the Devil Abyss eruption, there is also the reward for dealing such a blow to the corrupt path. Little Li Xiangxuan, you did well. This situation will be quickly verified, so it won't be long before we can confirm the damage done. In any case, you know what to do. Whether it's spirit crystals, divine items, or other spiritual objects, just request what you want. Many thanks. Senior Li Xiangxuan smiled. It wasn't just Long Chen who had put in work this time. Li Xiangxuan had also dealt a blow to the corrupt path's nether passage experts and that came with a plentiful reward. So even though Long Chen had practically given away 5 billion spirit crystals to the families of the fallen, Li Xiangxuan didn't mind. That money had been earned by Long Chen, and he could spend it however he pleased. Also, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's grand formation would be completed soon, 
so they wouldn't need that many spirit crystals anyway. Using a scheme, Li Xiangxuan had managed to heavily injure the corrupt path's three devil kings. Once that matter was investigated, he would get his reward. After all, he had crippled a nether passage expert. All right, that's all the rewards I have. When I leave, try not to cause so much trouble. However, before leaving, let me warn you first. Long Chen, don't think that taking first place on the devil slaughter rankings means that you can look down on the other experts. Warned Ku Jinying. Don't worry, I definitely won't get a big head from this. After all, the reason I got first place was largely due to luck. Long Chen nodded. If it hadn't been for you Xiaokian unleashing a divine ability that had completely stunned those life star level Empyrean winged blood devils, making them lose their ability to defend, his double dragon destruction wouldn't have been able to annihilate them. At most, he would have managed to kill the ones in the core region, but beyond that, it would be difficult to kill any more. Furthermore, other people had been killing Empyrean winged blood devils that were only on the soul transformation level while he had been killing those on the life star level, giving him more points. It could be said that he had practically been cheating. If everyone had been in a similar situation, he wouldn't necessarily have gotten first place. So he didn't feel any superiority or confidence from getting first place. Ku Jinying nodded. Sometimes, Long Chen was still reliable. Then let me say this. All those who entered the top 10 are extremely powerful existences. That Len Yuian from the corrupt path is someone you want to be extremely cautious of. Rumor is that she possesses the spirit body of the corrupt god and will inherit the corrupt god's will in the future. You've already seen her killing power, but based on the information I gathered on her, she has no supreme area attacks. In other words, she got those kill points by swinging her sword. Furthermore, her kill points rose at a very steady rate, meaning she didn't unleash any large moves. That's the most terrifying part. The fact that she got so many kill points while barely trying. The fact that Len Yuian's kill points had risen at a steady pace showed that she hadn't released her full power. In that kind of scenario, she had still taken second. So Ku Jinying used the word terrifying to describe Len Yuian. That Len Yuian is a supreme expert of the corrupt path and upholds the corrupt god's mission. She is fated to be your mortal enemy. So don't be careless. Warned Ku Jinying. Long Chen nodded. He had always felt her to be a formidable opponent capable of taking his life. He was even a bit afraid of her. Inside, he didn't want to be enemies with her. However, they were on opposite sides. Sooner or later, they would face each other, and one of them would die. Although Len Yuian had said that she would no longer try to kill him, that was relating only to their personal relationship. It didn't mean that she wouldn't attack if it was a battle between the righteous and corrupt paths. That kind of clash was unavoidable. Unless there came a day when Len Yuian betrayed the corrupt path, or Long Chen betrayed the righteous path, they would have to face each other with weapons in hands. Unfortunately, that was impossible. Long Chen's hatred toward the corrupt path would never change. Although he also didn't have any good feeling toward the righteous path as there were far too many idiots inside it who fought amongst themselves all day long. He also knew that not everyone in the righteous path was like that. It was just that the control of many sects was in the hands of a group of idiots. In any case, his own position would not change, and Len Yuian's position would not change. The two of them had not encountered each other in a long time, but when that time came, it would probably be a battle to the death. Although Len Yuian is frightening, I'm still not that worried about her. The one I'm most worried about is Dong Mingyu. Before the eruption of the Devil Abyss, Dong Mingyu assassinated a Nether Passage expert. Ku Jinying's expression was grave. But, how is that possible? Long Chen was shocked. Chapter 1720 Spirit Immortal Formation Sect and Gambling Heavenly Dao Translator Born to be Dong Mingyu was actually able to kill Nether Passage experts. Even Long Chen felt incomparably shocked. Even now, although he was strong enough to slap Di Long in the face repeatedly, that was when Di Long was caught off guard and had no defense up. If a Nether Passage expert were to use their full strength, then Long Chen would be sending himself to his death if he fought them. Even his chances of getting away alive would be very low. Hence, 
It was absolutely shocking to him that Dong Mingyu could kill a nether passage expert. You don't need to be too shocked. Dong Mingyu can assassinate a nether passage expert, not kill one. There's still a difference between them, said Kujinying. Assassination relied on opportunity, while killing relied on power. However, even in that case, managing to sneak attack a nether passage expert in control of life and death energy definitely couldn't be done entirely by luck let alone assassinating a nether passage expert. Just holding the slightest hostility toward them as you approached would be instantly sensed by them. Assassinating one of them was essentially impossible. However, Dong Mingyu had done it. Rumor is that Dong Mingyu has awakened the killing god's blood mark, and her assassination arts are unmatched. She is the strongest killer in the history of the blood kill hall, as you are already classified as a target that she must kill. You absolutely must be careful. An assassin is the most troublesome existence, warned Kujinying. Long Chen nodded but he wasn't afraid. Having fought against the Blood Kill Hall so much, the Nine Star Hegemon body art had practically memorized their aura. He wasn't afraid of their assassinations. However, he definitely had to be careful of this Dong Mingyu. She was an assassin who did not specialize in group fighting, nor did she specialize in power. Yet she still obtained third place. That meant that her one-on-one -on -one killing power had to be on an extreme level. Otherwise, there was no way she could assassinate a nether passage expert. Speaking of which, who did Dong Mingyu assassinate asked Long Chen curiously. Hu Jinying's expression became odd. Her own master. Her master. Yes. The blood kill hall has this kind of inheritance where apprentices will try to assassinate their masters while the masters will also try to assassinate their apprentices once the latter manage to threaten their position. These kinds of ancient conventions aren't something outsiders like us would understand. In any case, assassins assassinating assassins is very normal to them, said Kujinying. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch seemed to have expected that result. They understood more about the blood kill hall than Long Chen. Then does that mean that the Blood Kill Hall's Nether Passage experts are more terrifying than other Nether Passage experts? If even her own master couldn't avoid being killed by her, couldn't she kill other Nether Passage experts easily asked Long Chen with disbelief. Hu Jinying shook her head. You can't extrapolate this matter that way. The Blood Kill Hall's disciples and masters are constantly scheming against each other. It includes their habits, how they prefer to attack, their patterns their flaws. All of it is a constant whirlpool of scheming. Their profession's unique point is that other than the killing god and themselves, they won't trust anyone else. Everyone else is an enemy. When they see others, they are constantly calculating their flaws and how to kill them. So the Blood Kill Hall's assassins prefer to be carrying out missions rather than staying in the Blood Kill Hall. Because if they stayed for too long, others would have more chances to secretly observe them and it would be even more dangerous. That's why the fact that Dong Mingyu could assassinate her nether passage master is because she is very familiar with her master. Of course, we can't know if she relied on power or scheming to kill her master, but in any case, she is very dangerous, even more dangerous than Len Yuan. I understand. Long Chen nodded. As for that true immortal Jiaoki, he's quite an amazing figure. He possesses two different bloodlines. One from the Heavenly Blood River Drake and the other from the Storm Wind Killin. The Storm Wind Killin might not be the true divine beast known as the Killin, but it contains a trace of the Killin's blood. Their speed is shocking. As for his father, he's a supreme expert from the Heavenly Blood River Drake race, one with an extremely pure bloodline. This race specializes in power. In fact, their power approaches the power of dragons. So true immortal Jiaoki was born with practically divine power. He inherited the divine abilities of the heavenly blood river Drake and the speed of the storm wind Killin. He possesses both great power and speed and is a very terrifying existence amongst the Xuan beasts. If you face him alone in the future, it might be difficult to avoid a fierce battle. Be careful. Kujinying was solemn when it came to true immortal Jiaoki. He also wasn't ordinary. After talking about true immortal Jiaoki, she continued. As for Mo Nian, there's nothing to say. Correct? I heard you are good friends. Yes. More accurately, we should be classified as life and death brothers. Long Chen nodded. 
All right then. You flipped the eastern Xuan region, while Mo Nian caused chaos in the western Xuan region. You two really are a pair of brothers. The two of you have been called the eastern madman and the western wretch. He, he really is wretched. He actually calls himself a scholar, a pioneer of archaeology and an explorer of geology. He says he is unearthing the civilization and the culture of the ancients. But in truth, he is just doing shameful things all day. Many years ago, the Mo family was majestic and grand. Now, this little fellow has fallen to the point of digging up tombs to vent. It makes one sigh. Hu Jin Ying really did sigh. Her expression one of sorrow. Alliance head. Are you saying Mo Nian's family was very amazing back in the day? Asked Long Chen. Of course they were. Back then, the leader of the ancient family alliance was the Mo family. The D family only took their place later on. As for what happened then, you don't need to ask. Something as messy and chaotic as that gives me a headache as soon as it's mentioned. Ku Jin Ying waved her hand. She clearly was very discontented with the D family, and her voice seemed to contain a kind of disdain. She didn't wish to talk about it. Since you call him your brother, it is fated that you will go against D Long. It's no wonder D Long would be so shameless in an effort to eliminate you. HMPH. After finding something to rely on, does the D family think they can get away with anything? Does he not realize that once he loses that support that he relies on, he will have become so weak himself that he won't be able to stand? Whatever, that's not your affair. Just talking about these things is irritating. Long Chen, just be careful. Don't get tricked by the devil slaughter rankings, said Ku Jin Ying. Tricked, yes. Don't think that the strongest geniuses are on the devil slaughter rankings. First of all, the ancient races, Xuan beasts, corrupt path, ancient family alliance, and other powers only chose to send a single representative. Those representatives have amazing area attacks that give them an advantage when it comes to the devil slaughter rankings, but that doesn't mean that those people are necessarily the strongest, said Ku Jin Ying. Long Chen nodded. I know. Not everyone powerful is skilled in group fighting, and not everyone likes standing out. If I had a choice, I also wouldn't want to take first place. From the start, he hadn't been planning on taking first place. His goal had been for Guo Ran to have it. However, his plans had been forced to change. Many people were definitely thinking like him, so the Devil Slaughter rankings could not be used to say that those were the strongest geniuses of this world. At most. It could be used as a rough reference. Ah, I almost forgot. You should also take note of that Hu Feng and Xia Chen. I've investigated Xia Chen, and he should be the heir to the spirit immortal formation sect from ancient times. This sect had essentially vanished for tens of thousands of years, but now it has reappeared. Rumor is that the spirit immortal formation sect has no actual combat power, so they don't like to reveal themselves. However, once they establish a formation, it is capable of overturning the land and sea. Even peak experts, no matter how high their cultivation base or combat power, will end up dying if they fall into their formation. As for Hu Fang, he's also a marvel. He should be the one to inherit the legendary Gambling Heavenly Dao. The heirs of the Gambling Heavenly Dao all have a strange nickname. The 5050s. The 5050s. Long Chen didn't understand what that meant. Li Xiangxuan was the one who explained. It seems the Great Era has truly started to descend if even the Gambling Heavenly Deo's heir has appeared. The Gambling Heavenly Deo's heirs live off gambling. It's a very strange sect it is said that they do not cultivate magical arts or spiritual yuan. Instead, they cultivate luck. It's an ancient sect. One that was mysterious even in the ancient era. There are very few recordings of them. In each generation. There will only be one heir, and there is no need for a master and apprentice to pass down the inheritance. Sometimes, a new heir will appear after a few hundred years, and sometimes there might be no news of them even after thousands of years. However, one thing is certain, that is that all the gambling heavenly deos heirs have heaven-defying luck, and it is very difficult for them to be killed by someone, when they encounter an opponent. No matter how high that opponent's cultivation base, no matter how strong they are, they will always have a 50% chance of winning. But, why does that sound so completely unreliable? 
Long Chen couldn't believe it. If this Hu Feng encountered an Ether Passage expert at the Sea Expansion Realm, he would still have a 50% chance of winning. Yes, this is the power of the gambling heavenly Tao. Even if Hu Feng was just at the Xi'anchen realm, he would still have a 50% chance of winning. However, due to their heaven-defying luck, it's almost impossible for them to encounter enemies that are stronger than them. That's the only reason this strange nickname of 5050s appeared. Even in the entire cultivation world, only the gambling heavenly Deo's heirs have such heaven-defying abilities. Long Chen, there are all kinds of marvels in this world. With the Great Era silently descending, sects that belonged only in legends have started to awaken. All kinds of monsters are being born. You cannot be overconfident. That's correct. Even the heirs of the Spirit Immortal Formation Sect and Gambling Heavenly Dao have appeared. More monsters like them will appear. This is an era of marvels, as well as an era of blood. No one knows who will be the one to walk to the peak of the martial path and dominate this era. Added Kujinying. I understand. For some reason, Long Chen didn't feel any pressure. Instead, he felt a grand feeling. This era was growing more and more interesting. Ku Jinying said a few more words before leaving. She had too many things to handle, and that made Long Chen sigh. If she was so busy, how did she have time to cultivate? Reporting to the Xuan master, a man calling himself Xia Chen had come asking to see senior apprentice brother Long Chen.